Go. Only, only seconds only to go. Seconds to go. Yeah. That's, That's right, Mr. Fix. Right. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. We were off last Friday, but we're here back we're again. Back, man. And this is where we play new games on classic consoles. And we've got five games today. Holy shit. Yes. Including uh, Boxed Dungeon. Okay, that's my uh, kind of game, man. Yes. We got some dungeon going where on I here. We picked that up from Portland Retro really? Gaming Expo. And on Friday, we'll be playing the sequel, Dungeon 2. So it's a double header game there. I wonder what differences there'll be. Well, I guess we'll find out, right? We will. Um, so we're broadcasting at 60 frames a second for all you hey, people everyone. watching later. Make sure you set your, your uh, stream to 60 frames so you won't miss any of the action. Um, the games we have today is Rail Slider by... Rail Slider by... Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Lillipogin... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Lillipogin can poan. <laughs> We'll call him Lilla. My method is just to start speaking and just trail off. <laughs> trail off into infinity. Uh, chip Off by uh, Random Terrain. Also, uh, real name, Dwayne Allen Hahn. Magic Maze by BJ Best. BJ Best 60 on the Atari Age forums. Have Her we played anything by BJ Best before? I, 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 I recognize that name. Have. I don't know why. Um, he did uh, Space Cactus Canyon, okay, I didn't, which you I didn't did not do that. play. He's Hungarian. I suppose. Ah, uh, that's could be why. That's a difficult name to say. Uh, he also did uh, Tombstones. So that's oh, there where you, you go. I played Tombstones. Definitely, yeah. I know that one. And also, uh, High Score, Screen Burn, Slow Burn, which we played a long time ago. Okay, cool. Uh, we're also going to be playing Horizon Shift by Par Paul Marable. And, of and course, then... A Dungeon by David Weevil, S0C7. <laughs> Just to keep the, dra the dream alive, we want Shoplifter. That's right. Anybody out we... there wants to make Shoplifter the game? Not Choplifter, Shoplifter. Shoplifter. That is the dream, Mr. Yes. Fix, and thank you for keeping the dream alive every stream and That's reminding right. us of what... It's true that we do want Shoplifter. Shoplifter <laughs> is what we want. It's going to be a great game. It's going to be incredible when it gets... Also, all the usual suspects are here with Tiki yeah. Dan. Oh, and yeah. Let's say Ice hi to and Arena Foot and Mr. Fix and... Zybot uh, 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 Wade Rain. Wayne, did you oh, say that? Of course, that name? Wade Rain. Uh, K Price, Price 45. Uh, first time here. Hey, welcome, ever. welcome to the stream, K Price. Yeah, and everybody else that's watching, too. And I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers, Charles and Jack, Gretams, Ice Bosa, Jeffrey2123, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Retro Happy Hour, who just resubscribed today for the third oh, month in a row. thank you, Retro. Thank you. And Tiki Dan K, who is also here. He's always got the crown next That's to That's right, because he's a subscriber. He's earned it. If you he want has. a crown, That's right. oh, you, you no. know how to do it. I think the stars. The stars. So what gives us a crown? I don't know. That's a good question. Stuff. Neither do I. Uh, hey, me... Tiki Dan, if you know why you have a crown. Oh, Twitch Prime. He's a subscriber with Twitch, Twitch Prime, Prime or it, and Twitch Prime. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. but Twitch Prime. No he, matter he what, Twitch you've, got a, you've got a crown. You've got a crown, which is pretty it. cool. Yeah. And uh, so if you want to support the show uh, with um, by subscribing... And you've got Amazon Prime. You can link it to your Twitch Prime and hit subscribe on the channel. And yeah, we'd be man. most appreciative. And so it's one of those things where you hate to be that, like, streamer who's like, yeah. baggy, subscribe. Baggy. But I only say it things. once. But no, but it's also, it's legit. Because, like, I mean, James does a lot of work. So Yeah, it does I, take a lot know, of my week a up. Lot, <laughs> a lot of the prep time for all this stuff. And, um, and yeah, it's just, it's just also cool to see you guys with come back time. every week. I mean, yes. to be honest, like, from my perspective, it's nothing to do with money. It, everything is to yes. do with it. It's just very cool that, like, it keeps the, um, uh, the homebrew community alive, which is really Really important it does we play a small part in this by showing off the cool games that's right that the community makes and the community plays so it's kind of a a, a connection point for those two things a and we can show, point. a gathering point where we can show <laughs> them off show off the games yeah, man oh retro happy hour uh helped us out and says it's twitch, twitch prime for the crown uh, ah he's got a and he's a got crown one too. too he's also okay so it tells you how they subscribe so he's a subscriber and he subscribed with Twitch Prime. So Perfect. that's what it means. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, dude. We got a poll question. Oh, what's uh, the poll today? What is your favorite joystick to use oh. with the 2600? Because everybody's got their own opinions 
on which joystick is the best yeah. or which one they're more, most comfortable with. Or maybe they like the classic joystick that they grew up with that came with the Atari. James, I have an answer to this. Do you? I'll tell you my answer in a second okay. once you post, post this poll. There's question. the poll. So the first one is the original one, mm -hmm. the black one with the the red button joystick. Yeah, that is like that. Those That's are the for the purists yes. out there. Uh, the Atari 7800 joystick, probably not a lot of people want that. Uh, maybe, play with that. You never know. So that's number two. Uh, the TAC-2 joystick, I don't have one of those. And I don't also don't have a slick stick. So I haven't used either of those. I heard people really like the slick stick, uh, which is number four. Number five is the Epix 500XJ, which I do like a lot. That's the one with the molded hand, and it's very clicky. Yeah. And it's got the button on the side. It's good for certain games. I do like that one. Uh, the Wico Command Control, I did have that one growing up, so I'm very used to that one. So some nostalgia there, probably. Yeah, you know? that's an older one. Uh, Competition Pro, which I've not used, but I've seen a lot of people talk about that one. That's number seven. Number eight is the original uh, little sideways Sega three button or six button. That one's yeah, really yeah. good. That's with the D-pad. Um, and the ones that we use normally on the show is the Sega Arcade Power Stick. So I'm going to vote for that one, if I can. If you can do it, yeah. There we go. That's my vote, because I always use that one. It's just all around really nice. It emulates the arcade feel, because it's got the big joystick. It's got big buttons. It's just it's got really the mega easy. fire that messes with you <laughs> that if you every don't watch, other game. <laughs> that's right. It's like, ah, oh, the fire's on. Um, and number 10 is keyboard and Stella. So if you use the emulator, you don't have an Atari. If you just yeah, do it you on your computer. Just... You probably just use the And then the there's, keys. of course, always other. Other. So if people use whatever joystick is their favorite, maybe an outlier that they like. Yeah. Yeah. So that's uh, that's another option. So just type it in the uh, chat if you have an opinion on which is your favorite joystick. So far, it's pretty divided. Mr. Fix, like Wicco Command Control. That's a good one. Uh, the TAC-2 control for Wade Rain, and Arena Foot is the purest. Yep. He plays with the original Dude, joystick. That doesn't surprise me, so, Arena well, out there. Yeah. Going pure. My my answer was going to be a clever one. It was going to be yes. it just depends on the game for sure. That's a big it factor does. to me. I like it when you rotate different ones. I think my favorite one though is the one that's got the kind of handhold and it's Where the it's red grippy. Yeah. yeah, it's grippy and you've got the kind of tweaky I, joystick. I, I do like, like that one, except if you have to fire a lot. Yeah, and then the it's game. a little then it's bit like just tires your finger out just because of the way you have to curl it to press. Uh, number 10 is not a joystick, but I thought I'd include it because well, I, yeah. I know some people do play with and then keyboard my, and Stella. And then my second choice would probably be the Sega like uh, actual kind of classic controller. Yeah, just the sideways be, yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, just because I played so many controllers in my life. But right. I don't want to devalue what you've got because <laughs> yes. what you've got is very cool. It's like an experience. But if I yes. was playing like more consistently, not just on the show, I'd probably play like the, the, the yeah, I think uh, controller. You're better with the D-pad? Yeah, yeah, I think I'm a lot better. I find, because it's just I'm more I'm more used to it. I've played like Xbox and I played mm, PlayStation and I grew okay. up doing like N sixty four, so it's more comfortable for me to hold a controller. I mean I grew up with the D pad too playing Nintendo yeah. and all that era as well, but I just I just find for the type of games that people make on the twenty six hundred, I think they're they're more skewed to the arcade experience. Definitely. And just the freedom to, to move with the big joystick is, is just a lot easier for me. But obviously, with the diverse amount of people answering yeah. well, I just to each their that, own. Is that totally blocking my face? Uh, yeah, it is. That's okay. I'll just <laughs> lean over a bit. I should That's have right. checked out the... Well, we do have a cat today. Well, yeah, the thing is, normally I'd be closer, oh, but we have a, like a sleeping camera cat. camera needs to go down a bit. Oh, you can see his back legs. Oh, you can see him. A little he's, bit. he's like, what's going on? Hey, buddy, he's right here. Uh, so we've got uh, CBS Booster Grip. <laughs> on the Atari joystick. Oh. Uh, and Retro Happy Hour says a Power Clutch SG from AsciiWare. It's like the arcade stick for your Sega one. Oh, okay. I haven't heard of that one. That's very cool. Uh, so, some feedback. Uh, Zybot67 in the chat earlier was asking about the interviews because I still have two more, oh, to, yeah. two more to release. I've got Dan Kitchens. Dude, you're probably the Al only person Atari out there who's like interviewing homebrew people, which is which is why I imagine it's something people want. But I don't know. I can't. I've seen a lot of articles, like written stuff. Yeah. But not a lot of video stuff, which is which is kind of cool to be able to to do that for the homebrew community. And I do plan to do more of that, uh, and like on maybe over video instead, because a lot of these people yeah, I'll never you can meet Skype with them. it, and then you could yeah. ask some questions. And yeah. 
um, and just be able to reach out to those people that I would too. never be able to see in person because they live in Europe or way across the country or something like that. Um, so I've got Dan Kitchens and Al from Atari Age. So it's kind of a neck and neck race right now whenever I get the all the material. So it might be Al's next. I've almost got that done. So Okay, cool. So keep watching the YouTube uh, channel and also this Twitch one because I did release it in the Twitch as well. Um, so a couple weeks ago, I played Space Cactus Canyon. Yes. And I got a score worthy of mailing off for a patch really yeah you have to get eighty thousand points you... which means you pretty much have to finish the game how you many have to points beat did you game. get uh 120 000, which i will probably is in the middle range of points yeah. um so i asked uh the programmer bj best whose game we're playing to another game we're playing wow. tonight uh if there's any patches left because it was like a year since it's been released and i was like oh well probably all the patches are gone by now because yeah. i only put it like an hour an hour and a half probably an hour into the game so i thought uh people can get this patch no problem right so they're probably gone but luckily i, I emailed al from atari yeah. age and he said there's there's l some left so i You're will get be a getting patch? a patch yes for completing space cactus canyon congratulations thank dude. you and i was talking with uh, bj best as well about it and he said um the score bonus for successfully completing expert difficulty is 500,000 points. Whoa. And uh, he said he made it through once because I wanted to know that it could, in fact, be done. Uh, uh, one other tester in the forums finished that difficulty as well. As far as I know, we're the only two to have done it. So there's a challenge. There's, if anyone out there wants to... <laughs> Give that to a take go. Take that a go. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's on an Expert, because I played it briefly after I finished the game. I switched over to Expert. It is hard. And, and you got to get 500,000 points. Uh, well, you get a bonus of 500,000. Ah, yeah, I see. Because it's so damn hard. Everybody moves like double the speed at you, and you have limited ammo. You like have half the ammo you normally do. So it's brutal. It's brutal. Oh, Arena Foot says Albert and BJ both said there's plenty of patches left when he wrote uh, uh, Space Cactus Canyon. So anyone wants book. patches out there? This sounds like this is a game it's you, a doable. Could, you could totally do. Yeah, it does take a little bit of practice, but you could totally do it within a couple hours, I think. Um, if you're pretty handy with like um, uh, shooting, like quick shooting games and maze games, that's yeah, kind, you of, might be kind able of the combination. To... Yeah. Um, and I have a question for everybody out there. I was doing a quick search for games that use 3D glasses. Really? Uh, for the Atari 2600. Now, the 3D glasses I'm talking about... The are red the, and... The red-blue ones, right? Yeah. I did find one game, but I want to know if there's other games. Um, the game I found was called... A homebrew game? Yeah, a homebrew game, because there weren't any, definitely. Or maybe there were some back in the day. In Anybody the 80s, know? 90s. I'm sure our crowd would know. Oh, yes. Somebody out there would know. Um, <laughs> I suppose I'm sorry. You broke your vote? He's uh, trying to add 11. He says his, his votes didn't count. I wish I could help you, man. I yeah. don't know how to how to like um, make <laughs> Did another person Your vote, vote counts 11? for me, dude. That's right. We know. So Retro, ha Retro Happy Hour voted 11. But it looks like, yeah, yours Arena didn't. Arena says there's three games. There's three games. What are the oh, games, Arena? Yeah, if you could message me the three games, we could possibly do that because I'm sure I have 3D glasses somewhere. Oh, that would so be I'm a So I'm going to dig game. them up. It'll be weird, so we have to breeze through them pretty quick because what they'll see out there it's gonna be is different. a bunch of garbage. That's right. <laughs> it's going to be two items. One's going to be red. One's going to be blue. So that, And different spaces apart. <laughs> Best one is Genesis. we got to play Genesis that's then. That's the man. one I did find um 3d genesis uh, i couldn't find a, a rom for it so i don't know if uh i supposed to has a rom or arena foot has a rom but or if you just three red blue games cool okay yeah. well uh, send them over to me message me in the atari age forums or facebook or wherever you like and there is a reality that there are some games that are just better on the show than others you know like <laughs> puzzle there games is. don't really work because they're so slow we don't want to watch this like do a puzzle and like i found, sit stare at the screen oh, which one is and then they, and then if minutes. you solve it and we don't you're like screaming Arr. at the screen and um i found one of the hardest ones was zippy when we played zippy 
yeah. because it was just so like it, it was looked hard for us. It looked easy, <laughs> but it was hard to play. So it was one of those the things controls. where you what it looked like we're in these incompetent players, <laughs> yes. but it's actually a really hard game. So it's like, anyways, it's it's there's definitely better ones. Uh, but it would be fun because maybe you could throw the three D glasses on. Oh, well, they could while they, they could. watch it, and that would they be could. that would be kind of interesting. I'd have to give them warning. Yeah, like, warning coming up. Get your three D glasses, and we could probably do maybe like an hour, and then uh, and then we're like, okay, okay. So they do exist. There's three of them, and Arena Foot does have them. So, dude, there Arena's is a possibility. Got our back every time. <laughs> Doesn't matter right. what it is, Arena's there. So, uh, looks like the original joystick is winning with uh, a couple of votes, and the rest are smattered around with Tac Two, Wicko. Sega Arcade Power Stick, that's my vote. Keyboard and Stella, and other. There we go. God, your cat is very cute. He's just sleeping he is, in the He middle. is the best. So we're going to dive into the games, and the first one is a unique one. Oh. And it might be challenging for us. Okay. And I will take any challenge. And you'll find out why in a second here. Let me switch over to our Harmony Cart. Oh, see. I hear the bang there. Oh, it's called Rail Slider. And this is a... We're going to be sliding some rails today. Yes. Okay. And you'll need this. I'll need this? Yes, you will. Uh, so place that on the left. On the left. And place that on the right. right. Oh, God. This okay. is a dual stick, actually. Yeah, unless you want to turn it around so it doesn't slide towards you. I no, I'll figure this out. You can't... You can't tell from the pole, but I got two. <laughs> no, 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 that's off. That's, that's off? Fine, no. Okay, We're good. on that screen, so. Okay, good, good, good. So this is a dual stick which shooter one, game. Which one does? That's move, that shoot. So this shoots. So you can see there, no, no, you're not playing. Um, you're the guy in the center there, and these guys are coming out. Uh, there are no instructions. I have tried to find instructions for this okay. game online. It's pretty new. And we're going to have to wait. Unless the... Uh, unless a programmer shows up. <laughs> then he can, can like, let us know out. what's up? Okay. Yeah. It sounds like Robotron. Yes. I don't know what Robotron is. It's kind of like that because that was a dual stick uh, game. Um, also, Smash TV was a dual stick game. So... There are very, very few dual stick games. Whoa, okay. Is it working? Yeah. It is. It's like, it's, <laughs> it's just crazy, like yeah. nothing I've done. What, what do I do with this thing? It just kills I, me? Yes. Okay. As okay, far as I can tell, that news. kills you, but you can what do I do? hide from oh, it. Oh, I can there. hide from it to in your face. On either side. Okay, that makes hide sense. From it. Whoa. Okay, this is. And your lives, as far as I can tell, is on the bottom Whoa. left. Okay. We got and your health is on the bottom right. Bam, bam. Whoa. Okay, we got some serious stuff going on. Yeah. Uh, whoa, okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and this, they, is, this is a crazy game. So okay. they not only attack you, they shoot at you too. And some of them have different bullets. Okay, I'm, I'm so noticing, I'm like, I got two health bars. That's a good sign. So no. You have no, well, you have no lives and one health bar. Left. Okay, um, but I mean, I have two different health bars. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm dead. Like, this You're is like, this dead. is like a... Game over. Whew. Okay, this is like, uh, how long can you not die kind of game. I, like, it, there's a boss, presumably. There, there must is. be. Okay. In the demo, I've never been able to get to this. So I think I'm doing, when I've been playing it briefly, I only played it briefly, just to see make sure can, it all works. See if I can boss this game. Yes. So, this I'm, is not easy with these double joysticks. Like, why didn't you just have... Uh, it makes sense, though, because you got to shoot different directions. you got to shoot all different directions. And it's, oh, and I, can, it's crazy. I can shoot, like, diagonally. Yes. Okay, dang. So okay, that, that helps. might help. Okay, that does Especially help a little bit. Especially when they're, like, on you. Okay. And I don't know if they're, like, stabbing you. If Whoa. they're getting close to you. I, it feels just like they're just fully... Just, like, there's no... There's no surviving this. This is, like... Is that you know, this is, like... End of Dawn of the Dead kind of <laughs> situation. So it's so uh, Lilla. Da, 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 da. This is my first attempt at Batari Basic, if you can believe. 
this is his first game. This looks amazing. This is unbelievable. And also, like, very inventive with this double joystick business. I mean, does everyone have double joysticks? I'm sure. I'm sure they do. Uh, oh yeah, everybody's got like, at least two, two joysticks uh, Yeah, to play. you can play like Kong or something. You but if you two. didn't have these type of joysticks, you'd have to tape them together or something, because these have heavy bases. What about the ones, like, with the wheels? Is that, am I crazy? Uh, you might be. I'm crazy. Like I'm paddles? insane, I'm saying, yeah, the paddles. Would, like, would the paddles be better for a game like this? Probably. Well, no. Well, you couldn't move. Yeah, I'm an idiot. You wouldn't be able to move. Well, that's not entirely true. You could use two paddles. One for going left and right, because there is only left and right. Oh, that's right. And then, and then one for direction of your bullets. But you kind of have to spin around. Yeah. And it'd be very difficult to aim. It'd be too slow. Yeah, I don't think anybody would do that. So I just... A paddle and a joystick might work. Because then you could kind of like... You could move really quick back and forth. Yeah, oh, my right? wrists are already dying. <laughs> this is like, I haven't even... I haven't even st started. In the Track all the movement, joystick fire. That's See, we have some so ideas in the chat. That we got some ideas. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to think of that, okay, that I just, where that music was from, and I supposed to says random terrain made that music at the beginning. I'm like, I've heard that music. So I'm make, I'm sure it's just a placeholder because he's not he's not done. Okay, I gotta just, like try to dodge bullets and not die, <laughs> but it's like everything is killing me. There's no like. There's nothing there's, to get. There's nothing to get. It's there's just nothing it's to just don't die. Okay, okay, so I think I made it to like 300 at one point. I mean, maybe that's a way to measure my success. Is like my I don't know if you can shoot the bullets. I mean, like, look at that. Like, it's just, just nonsense. Just, and then, like, what no, do you do there? You just, the only thing I've found is you can hide from that bouncy thing. Okay, I'm just trying to, like, I'm getting a new position. I can't even... I don't know if that... Oh, fatigue is rough for this game. My hands are already dying. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, We're gonna... You do one more. And then and you gotta take over. Now. And, and uh, Lila says he plays it with two Mega Drive arcade sticks. Okay, so this is this, the recommendation. Yeah, this is the one that he plays it with, so okay. this Friends, is the best one. I managed to do like 300 points, that's something. Ice okay. Ghost says, does the red part of the player have anything to do with the red horizontal shopping? I was just thinking that because it spins around and you might have to capture it. There, nope. Oh, no, yeah, I mean, get it on its side. Like when the bread is I on see. the side. It's hard to aim that though. Like oh, you see one. what I mean? Like I kind of like okay, no. like that. Okay, I'll try it well, maybe out. Maybe it bounces. I'll it. try it out and see, man. But yeah. it's like it's, it's not. Hard. It's You're not. Killed I basically have to. So let's see what happens. Oh, oh no, no, I just right through fully you. die. I mean, like completely on the side, like that. Oh okay, we'll try that out in a sec. <laughs> Death is the reality just, of what's this called? Rail killer? Rail slider. Death by Death by everything. everything. <laughs> That's the name Death. of Spy Hunter uses a special trait of a full two joysticks. Oh, oh okay. good idea. So, I guess the original joystick. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, here it comes. Nope. No. Nope. Um, it's just destroyed you. <laughs> just like obliterated it's you. It's a grip. Okay, okay. I'll get, was... I'll pass you the whole contraption, James. Yeah. God, Atari is here. Just, he's just sleeping under some joysticks. Okay, okay good luck. Good luck. Yeah. Thanks. It's like the first game I did the best because my wrists were like fresh. <laughs> we're brand new. I'm not kidding, Fun. man. It's like, just give this like five minutes and you're gonna wish ah. that. Ah, can't get it. It's so hard to even manipulate yourself. That we can one person can move. Oh, dude, that's a brilliant idea. <sighs> and one person can fire because it's just the it's too setup much. is crazy. It's too much. Ah, ah it's so hard to. This is a collaborative game. I think you're a thousand percent right. Yeah, I think it might help. And, but there, we haven't made it to the boss, and I don't. I'm sure you have to capture that somehow. Damn it. Ah. Okay, Whoa. so do you want to move or do you want to shoot? What's your vote? Um, I'll shoot. Okay, I'm ready. Hey, I'm not. <laughs> it's okay. I was okay, trying to capture that. I was in the character. I was ready to go. Yeah, you just dodge. I'll... I'm not going to try to capture this thing. I don't think that's okay. Well, We're, we're going to try and just Because like, every time we've tried to capture it, we've just died. So that seems... 
I mean, you can hide from it, which leads me to believe that you don't. You know, you need to... Okay, that's correct, but we should definitely try. Oh. No, don't. Definitely doing bad. Yes, this is the 300 was like We're still dying. Like, it's a, a slow it's a, descent. Well, it's just... Of of how much, At uh, least I can dodge these guys now. I... <laughs> oh, oh, what do you, you do? Went with it. Yeah, that was a mistake. Okay, that was... try and capture it. Okay. Yeah. Like, fully, it's like fully like, on just the stay edge, right, right? Just stay right there. Just stay right there. Doing it. And I'll uh... just defend. Defend the fort. Find out what happens. It's gonna come from the left. It's fully on the no, that's good. Oh, it went yeah. right through you and took you down. Yeah. No? It's just. No, that's not it. I think it's just uh, it just looks cool. It's my boat. Now the next thing I want to try is that those guys fire a bunch of different things. One are the white small ones, and then they fire the big ones. Okay. So what I want you to try is capture the big ones. There's a big one. I think so. I feel like everyone just kills us. This is like electric <laughs> version of Tombstone. This is just like <laughs> yeah. this is just like go left and right until you die. I'm just thinking that like um, if I ever wind up on a rail system. Hey, ground trooper. Welcome. Oh. Ground troopers here. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Oh, Whoa! What, what is? What, what just what happened? What just happened? How did we get that? What is going on? Shot? Did we just like? Did we... anybody see what? Guy, was that just that? a bug? Because if that was just a bug, <laughs> that's the coolest bug I've ever seen. There's no way that's a bug. That was like that was insane. definitely on purpose looking okay. kind of. I'm just whoa! Because see, all of a sudden we just got blasted by like nine bullets. Okay. Okay. Any ideas? John had probably zip tie two controllers to a two by four to play Robot One. That's funny, man. That works. Yeah. It's like the John Wick of games. <laughs> this is just like someone fucked with our dog. <laughs> <laughs> now they're angry. <laughs> now they're just endlessly rush the Russian mafia is coming after us. Yeah, I, I'm just it's, it's pretty hard to differentiate. There's one. Oh, I'm just trying it's to just not so die. Hard. My main, my number one. He's dead. My number one goal is. Oh, oh. Okay. Now don't press anything. Best was the last one that we did. That, Look, that. Yeah, was the that's best really one. good. Okay. Don't press anything. Okay, I want right. to watch the demo and see what happens. Good idea. Because the demo always makes it to the boss. Yeah. Or almost always makes it to the boss. It, it might have some. Uh, some some, some advantages. You yeah. Know, might just... Luckily, there's a demo. It might have just cut. 635, Airline. Oh, you're interpreting it to him, huh? Not my shot. Not my shot. Hey, uh, it's his dodging. That's, that's right. It's my dodging it. is the thing. You should do, like, <laughs> AJ. Yes. Yes. It's collaborative. A collaborative method. It's a dual score. Sorry, it's, right. it's okay, buddy. I'm just, I'm just chilling today. It's way too nice. Pixels avoiding us, which uh, is nice. Is, uh, it's usually a troublemaker. Uh, uh, Mug says success. Uh, success equals passion plus knowledge squared. Yeah. Or times knowledge squared. Mm -hmm. Passion is a big part. Okay, watch. He's, He's shooting. shooting. He went right through it. He got Slap. hurt. He Glass got hurt through it. Oh no, what? Did he gain some health? How did he get there so quick? Well, this is just the thing, right? Look, he's at like 100,000 points, too. Oh, that's another, okay. That's another factor here. And look, there's, there's a like a thing up? that's coming through. He's just like blasted through the thing. It doesn't even matter. Look at that. <laughs> he just like ran through things. Look. Big gained? Look, he's just like... Look, he, look, he's not even getting hurt. Okay, now he's, he's hurt. Now he's... Now he's on wave two. He's gaining energy. He's shooting way faster than and us. And now he's too. losing all his lives. And now he's dead. I don't understand. <laughs> I think there was some meddling going on I think with the it's demo. It's very suspicious. Let me. And look, the best score is a hundred and one thousand. What? <laughs> now he just beat he's our. Just best. like he just cuts to. I now I got a hundred thousand points. Or she? Yeah. You judge. You never know. <laughs> the computer is a she. Totally destroys you. The yeah. uh, the thing going through. And look, you lost all your points too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is just deadly. Let me just. No. 
doesn't matter how maybe you it's like a shield for the bullets man and maybe maybe that... you're safe there and you're safe there like is there an up or down up or down doesn't do anything maybe if i'm in the center that laser he thing will... he's like pushing his legs underneath <laughs> me it's like, wow it's aggressive blood here. I can't yeah maybe if i stay in the center and that laser goes Maybe it's the red thing I have to defend? No. <laughs> no, that's not it. What the hell? So those things... And they died, they just like run into they you run and explode. They run into me, explode, and, and, and they hurt me by touching me too. And shooting you. This is insane. Anybody? <laughs> Anybody have any okay, more? Okay, so what's frantic? Spiceware is frantic. Those particle physics like robotics explosions are almost as good or stolen from Spiceware is frantic. Yeah, it's, it's like a maze. Reboot. It's a berserk, um, a berserk type game. You're yeah. in a maze and there's robots that look very similar to that. I mean, the graphics in this game are some of the best batari basic graphics i've seen and the layout it doesn't look like a game that was made in batari basic this is one of the few games that are like no this doesn't look. Yeah, this is like its own thing yeah anybody else have any ideas how to make it to like the next level or if it even is a level because like <laughs> it maybe shows when, it. maybe when you get to a hundred thousand points you get to fight the boss is it just i have to sh you have to shoot enough of those robots that must be the case okay is this a work in progress is this finished it is. no it's not finished but i mean obviously you can oh oh oh. Press? oh there's a pause okay 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 you're the fire button <laughs> Okay, ready? Okay, I'm not doing so well as the fire here. Whoa, I'm gonna try to keep them at angles. I'm just grabbing fire. I don't even. <laughs> clearly, I'm, clearly, I'm a better. I'm a better. Uh, better mover? Yeah, shaker. That's correct. <laughs> You had a retro. Uh, what okay, I captured one of the big shots. Oh, and then you got like a insane big, yeah, shot. Yeah, big, big, big. Shot. Yeah, cool. So that's something. Bam. I figured out okay. something. Okay. There. Oh, you shot. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, I got that one. <laughs> you don't have much time to capture the bullets if you do want to capture the bullets. <laughs> and I swear I saw in the demo he was getting life back. Oh, he fully was. Now I think that was just because it was a demo, maybe? This cast, it has to be some way to get life back because it's just too deadly. Dude, if, you're, if, if your programmer is watching this game, please I'm, instructions. Figure, let us know what's up. I'd love to know. And the other thing is, is maybe like maybe maybe there's like I love games with levels. I'm yes. not gonna lie, it makes morale. I play your game way longer because <laughs> there's levels. There's if I just if I just like to. run and then die and then <laughs> run and then die. I just we do that in life. You know? <laughs> run and die. Yes, mostly running and dying. You know, so wanna, wanna, wanna run. like I don't know, like a thousand or a promise that like even just like a thumbs up, it's like you kill like like five guys, they're like, Good job. I'm like, oh I keep playing. <laughs> uh, nobody uh, nobody has any ideas, so okay. we're gonna move on. Because I think we've That's a crazy game. It is. And I think if we figured out how to get life back and to get to the next part, it'd be so much, so much more fun. Oh, so much more fun. That that's a barrage. That's an onslaught. It is. Oh. That's not a good sound. No, this is the one. Oh, okay. I was. So doing we're it done too. with that joystick, I think. Okay, we're gonna move on. Oh, that's one has its like price tag on it still. Oh, that's does it? Good. That's good. Thirty bucks. <laughs> uh. Okay, we're gonna move on to chip off.
Yeah, a good crazy game. It yeah, is. Yeah, man, for I just sure, wish Mr. I knew Biggs. how to play it better. Yeah, I hope the hope someone lets us know. Okay, chip off. Yeah, hopefully chip. the programmer gets back to me on how to play that. Because I posted it. <sighs> oh, I think I know this kind of game. <laughs> yes. Uh, like, this is made by uh, Random Terrain. Um, uh, Dwayne Allen Han. And, uh... Oh! He posted on oh god, this is April twentieth, two thousand thirteen. This is a little bit older of a game. He usually makes a what? lot of demos, not full games, not too many full games. This is like Breakout. Yep. Um, oh, this has a lot of little innovations above Breakout. Um, oh, you can see your paddle bounces a bit. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh man, it's really nice. it's, it's like this. These controls are. <laughs> And the colors are Ooh. really nice up above. This is embarrassing. And uh, okay. okay. And the way it hits it and disappears the blocks okay. at the top are really, really, really cool as well. Um, oh my god. Okay. When the when the oh, latest DPC Plus version with paddle and ball size options, smoother paddle slide, items that drop down, and a guidance meter. Um, when the program starts, move the joystick left to right to choose between three ball sizes. Press up for regular paddle, down for larger paddle. Press oh. the fire button to start. So there's some oh. options next time you die. This is stressing oh, me out. Pixel has joined us. Okay, so what are the options? Okay, so it's up, down, left, right for the options. Oh, oh no, you're not dead yet. Okay, wait. Okay, up, down, left, right. Down for big. Up for small paddle and left and right for ball. So you want big ball, big paddle. Okay, we're that'll keep you alive while we. Uh... Friends, don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's read off the red token. The red token activates a dive oh bomb, God. fast paddle, as soon as the paddle touches it. It lasts until the bat paddle hits seven times or the ball is lost. Advanced players who can handle the dive bomb fastball might want to catch the red token on purpose. So the red. Oh, so you dodge like those things that are. Like... Well, you can catch them or dodge them. Yeah, just to show off to your friends. Um, the red one makes things go faster. The blue ones seem to sort of do the same thing. The blue tokens were 200 points. Oh. Each time five blue tokens are collected, a bit of juice is added to the guidance meter. Wow, okay, I want that. The score uh, okay. background color will flash when this happens. Uh, if the guidance meter is full, the extra juice will be stored in a backup tank off screen. Uh, okay, so guidance meter. The guidance meter is on the right-hand side of the score. The, to guide the ball for a short amount of time, stop moving the paddle, hold down the fire button, then move the joystick left and right. Uh, release the fire button after the ball has been nudged. Sort of, sort of like a tilt in uh, pinball. You can kind of guide it a bit. Wow, okay, that's kind of cool. Ah, oh, I missed yeah. it. Yeah, don't sacrifice the ball for one of the blue things. That's my that's, that's always the, the temptation in these games. Is that when those bonus power-ups are coming down? Oh. Is to go for them. Damn. Okay. Uh, every time you use the guidance meter, a little bit of juice is used up. You can earn more juice every time you collect five. Oh, I see. Did you get to guide it a bit? Oh, you got it. I haven't. I've tried it like a little bit, but yeah. it's also like it's. It does these kind of games do take some concentration. Oh, yeah, you moved it a bit moved there. Moved it a bit. I mean, I, you have to be strategic, I suppose, about that. And he says, remember, this is just an example program, not a complete game. There may be bugs. If you run into any problems, please post them in the thread. Okay, we're just going to that red like ball. like a complete game to me. Yeah, this is looking good can, so far. You can win, you can lose, you can get power-ups, you have a score. Okay. That's a complete game. Maybe not a finished game, but it's a complete game. I got some live. Arena Foot says this is just like the old PC game DX Ball. Oh, you got five, I guess. Yeah, I did. Flashed. Okay. okay oh now you can. God. What was the five? Well, something I can do, like. Uh, a bit of juice is added to the guidance. Bar. Cool. Okay. So oh. you got a bit more guidance that okay. you can use up. I need a lot of guidance. <laughs> <laughs> you got lots of lives still left, so it's a little bit easier, I yeah, guess. Yeah, this the big is ball. like. Again, don't, big ju don't judge me. I'm playing the kids' version. <laughs> oh, you lost a life. I find it also if um, 
I mean, you can notice this, but the people watching, um, I played a little bit of this, and the movement of the paddle is probably one of the better games, paddle games, that are used with the joystick. Yeah, it's very, it takes very a bit smooth. of time, because, like, it's not, it's not, it's, it's like, um, the best way I describe it is it's not linear. You yes. know what I mean? So it's kind of like, an it, acceleration. Has, it has, so it's like, took me a second to sort of get used to it. And it, it provides more um, accuracy when moving the paddle. For sure. But like at first it didn't at all. Yeah, I was you like, have to get used to it, right? Like most of these games have, pa you use paddles with them, right? Um, oh. oh. Well, you gained an extra life. <laughs> you still have four. <laughs> okay. I just want to see you clear the board. And every time you hit, or almost every time, sometimes when you hit it, it nudges the whole screen up like bam, which is cool. And when it hits the paddle, it gives a little bit of a little bit of bounce too. So these extra little add-ons that make a game. Like when you hit above as well, it disappears. The block disappears. It's just such a, a nice little add-ons. Yeah. Um, so I messaged Random Terrain about this, and he's he summed it up with, "It's just a failed example program that wasn't oh. worth putting." On the Atari Basic page, so he he doesn't he doesn't care about this. He doesn't at regard all. this as this is a great game. Man. I know. What are you talking about? This is um. I mean, I I haven't I haven't like finished a level finished a level yet. But I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty cool. This reminds me of playing Breakout on my dad's computer. Oh, oh. Like weird. Were you staring at it a bit there? Uh, no. not really. It, it was like just it hit that red weird. thing. Oh, that okay. Was the I issue. think the red thing was making it go crazy. Yeah, which doesn't surprise me. An extra life again. I think every thousand you get an extra life. It's very uh, generous. This is the kid setting. This oh, that's is like, true. This you, is... you would need those extra lives in the, on the other setting. The other setting. I mean, I, I wasn't making it far on the other setting, so this. Um, also, Random Terrain says he's currently having issues with his leg. Are you okay? Oh, and, no. And with his legs, and he just moved house, so he's getting it definitely out of, has who a lot of it? going Someone on in his life. had a coma that was like, yeah, who was that? Do you remember, remember who that was? I can't remember his name. Or her name, right? Because her boyfriend found her, I think. I can't remember. That's some, some coma. That was crazy. I was like, man. Uh, we so wish him well and hope him a speedy, speedy recovery. I hope everybody's okay. So he posted in the Atari Age forums on Monday, my right leg has a purple-blue spot oh, poking no, out buddy. in the middle of this shin. Ugh. So the leg doctor is going to see me tomorrow in case this is a semi-emergency situation. Are Might you Canadian? No. Oh, I don't no. think so. Maybe. That's one Actually, nice, I don't know. One of the nice things about being Canadian is like we have a lot of support for healthcare. Yeah, you don't healthcare. have to worry about that kind of stuff. Yeah, like, but Monetarily, I mean, anyway. Exactly. Obviously, you have to still worry about it. And there's it. Medicare and stuff in the States, but I'm just saying that it's a different thing. Yeah. Yeah, there was a... I suppose it says there was a GoFundMe to get him a hospital bed for his house. Wow. And it successfully funded that. Oh, the, that the is Atari amazing. Because uh, he's uh, a very, very active um, member the Atari Age forums. Good. You know what? When someone needs a hand, man. Yeah. Honestly, we got it. We got it. We got to rise to the occasion. That's the That's Canadian right. way. That's right. <laughs> or American. Or American. I'm just saying, though. I'm just yes. saying that, like, that's what we believe up here. Yes. For sure. Um, so, yeah, speedy. I hope you have a speedy recovery of your leg and it gets better. Um, I'm not going to... the posts. I'm not going to say finish your game because your health matters far more than that yeah. but i want to say he's that given up but i want to say man that i'm liking your game so far yeah i feel like i'm really good at it at the kid setting uh i think you need to like hit that at a different kind of angle because or yeah or steer it there you Whoa. go there you go dude okay this is the greatest moment do you see that moment <laughs> where you steered it and then it bounced, and like I didn't have to do anything for a while. That's the best moment. I in love breakout when you get that. Especially if you make a tiny, Dude, tiny opening. Dude, it's happening again. Oh no! You got to steer it. Got to get those last ones. Steer it into it. Oh, oh. god. Okay. Friends, we'll make it. Oh, retro happy hour oh. is out of here. See you later. Oh, see you later, dude. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hanging out. And um. Steer it. Get oh god. Oh. Whew. Yeah, That's he has a, a reference web page for uh, Batari Basic, so he um. He helps, I, I suppose it says he's helped him out a lot with uh, his website as a reference for making games. Oh, there, there you go. Yes. There you go. Now keep it going in that area. Just keep it going. There you go. Oh, oh nope. no. 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 Rip. Wow. 7800 basic, too. Oh, nice. He's the basic dude. 
came. Yeah, that was one of the first pages I found when I was looking up uh, programming with Atari 2600 was the Random Terrain website. And I didn't know why it was called Random Terrain, but the guy who maintains it, that's his nickname. Okay, you gotta steer that. It's just bouncing back and forth. Well, it's tricky because like... You only got three left. You could do it. Oh, there you go. That's better. Oh, no. Oh. Maybe we'll... Oh! oh. Okay. Oh. So it doesn't look like this has English on it. It's just straight 45, no matter where it bounces off. Wow, okay, off. we got one. Go. Oh. Okay. Friends. Maybe it does. Yeah. Oh, God. What do you mean by English? Is in like... Where you can affect oh. the angle of the ball depending where you hit it on your paddle. Well, that makes sense. Um, in some games of Breakout, you can affect the angle by the speed at which your paddle is going when it hits. Dude, Mr. Fix said this is the curse of Breakout. Yes, it is. The one last piece. That you just but like... you can steer. Come on, use the steering power. There you go. Steer. Oh, okay. I should have steered. I should have yeah. steered. Hold on, hold on. Because you got a little bit of juice left. Steer it. What? what? You got ripped off. Okay, okay. Ripped off. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's not happening. It's no. gonna. It's gonna happen. <gasps> you did it. Da, da, da. Let me just play it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Then we'll move cause on because there's not like, much to it, right? Yeah, yeah. Good page for learning. He talks about random, of course. You had um a retro gaming party, which was really I fun. Did every year I hold a retro gaming party? Last year was the 40th anniversary of the 2600, so uh, that was the theme last year. And this year, uh, I went for Space Invaders' 40th anniversary, so I did an arcade theme. So he had like a Mortal Kombat, like yeah, an actual arcade console here. In, a in the living room, machine. it's still here. Yeah, it is. It's crazy. Uh, oh damn it! And it was. I'm like the young. I was pretty much the youngest person there, as you. No, there was some children. There were some children. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, you're right. There's some youngins. Well, yeah. So or but one. There was yeah. one kid. One kid. So you weren't the youngest. Second youngest. <laughs> Second. But I realized that everyone slayed me in all the games because uh, everybody was like, "These are things that they like really good at." And yes. like, and and but I but I slayed at Amoeba Jump. You did. You did really well. <laughs> I was like, to me, the yeah. irony was, to me, Amoeba Jump was the thing I was the most excited about because I knew what it was. And, and you played it a lot, so you yeah. had good practice. And everybody else was like, uh, everyone else was like, I want to play some Yoshi. I'm like, screw <laughs> that. Give me Amoeba Jump. <laughs> I, I literally sat in Amoeba Jump. He had some, like, uh, chips. I just ate some chips and played Amoeba Jump oh, for yeah. quite a while. That's the life. It was pretty fun. And, um, and yeah, it was really neat. Um, yeah, we had, I had a bunch of machines out, uh, the SNES, uh, Darcy NES. was here. Yeah, Darcy was here. Um, He'd done a 24 hour, like, board games night. Just before so, that. So, so he, he was done. Like, he was just, done. he almost fell asleep, but didn't. <laughs> he was, like, he he was, was laid out for a little he bit He was on in the floor delirium. And so he it, didn't play any games because he knew he would just get. Yeah. get roasted <laughs> yeah and then tanya played some battle toads oh yeah she and showed off with her battle toad skills i was like holy cow i was like <laughs> tanya was crushing oh yeah she loves she pl that's the game she played back um when the nes was at its height that's she got she past that speeder level yeah which is which like is i'm like dude if you can do that you can do pretty much anything <laughs> okay got, got it. it okay so we're gonna move on because i think we exhausted oh that. yeah Okay, chip off. We're going to uh, Maggie Maze? Maggie Maze. Maggie Maze. I would say. Okay. Like magic, but oh, without the C. BJ. Right? So this is uh, by B BJ Best. Uh, Space Cactus Canyon, Tombstones, High Score Screen, Burn, Slow Burn Fame. Uh, where we played Whoa. Uh, all of those before on the show. So um, we've caught up with BJ Best. What is? What are we doing here? So what I talked with here? BJ about uh, Maggie Maze the other day. I see. Oh, I, I see. said the game is really in its prototype Whoa. stage. Okay, I see what's going on. I gotta like. Oh. Holy cow! Okay. Uh, uh, I think it's a cool idea, and I like the first few levels. But since there's no random generation, unlike pretty much all of my other games. Oh, that's true. All those other games do have randomness to it. That's very cool. I've always liked games um, that are able to. Um, so a if, bit of 
RNG, yeah. man. I'm yeah. a big RNG. So that there's a lot of replayability factor in them. Ooh, okay. And and there's maze generation algorithms for the 2600. So I think um, that is a total possibility with this. Uh, okay. I think uh, oh my God, we're I need to think tense. about building each maze as a puzzle. Haven't got back to it yet. Good luck with it. Um, so he posted this January 2018. Um, he's in the Atari oh. Age forums. He says, I'm attaching a prototype of an idea call I'm calling Magimaze until something better comes along. You play as oh a morphing, God, so well. a morphing no, square thing. Uh, well put. Yeah. That's, what, that, that's what we're at. <laughs> and it's... your goal is to reach the star. Oh my God. I can't go. Oh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'll show you. I'll tell you how to play. If you hold down the button, you move the whole screen. Yeah, I've been like sort of figuring that out ever since. So if slightly. you move just the joystick, you move the guy. But if you do it with the button, it moves the maze Whoa. and you. Whoa. So if you get in a tight spot, but you kind of is, have to shift the whole thing is, over. This is a top level that we're on here. Friends, uh, this is a top level. You can move your square as expected, but where okay. the magic comes in, you can move the maze itself by holding down the fire button and using the joystick. Is it a new maze each time? It's a different maze. Okay. So you're on level three. Change the artwork on the left. Thank you. Thank you. Always got our back. Appreciate it. Does. Thank you, Arena Foot. I do actually make these graphics, so it's good to show them off. Because um, I usually take a screenshot and do a little typing thing. Yeah, there's no sound for this game, so it's going to be silent. Because um, some of these don't, it. some We're of the newer games it. don't. Bam! Oh, you did it. Uh, some of these newer games don't have any graphics, so I just have to take like a screenshot and do some titling on the top. Okay. Uh, you can move the maze itself. Da -da 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 -da. I say Magi, but you can, but you might pronounce it PF Scroll. Playfield scroll by move, moving both yourself okay, and the this, maze. Okay, this you can reach got, your goal. Um, there are six levels so far. The sixth being nigh impossible. Is this the sixth? Maybe it's the fifth. We're getting uh, pretty difficult. Pretty close to like. If you touch the wall, the level resets. My main question: Has this been done before? Um, I'm not the dude to answer that, <laughs> but I have never seen anything. I've, like I've this never before. seen something where you move the screen yourself Whoa. um i've seen a, a famicom game where the screen moves on its own uh, and that's uh devil world devil's world i think it was now released in north america oh my God. um i supposed is making up sounds in his head well he's the sound guy thanks i supposed to it's like do -do -do -de, do -do -de, do -do -de, do -de. So I don't think this is possible. See, like, it is. The, well, this is the issue. Is like, look at this. <laughs> it's tough. No, you well, no. The, the, I think back, this part. Back. This. Back. But I'm showing you, like, you see how, like, there. But, oh my god. <laughs> okay, it is possible. It's hard. Oh my god. Yes, yeah, so you move cautiously, very cautiously. I'm gonna go this way. Okay, I'm gonna go <laughs> this way. Dead end. Dead end. Oh, I, I can kind of move the whole screen. That's a good idea. Okay. My main question has this been done before? I don't think so. Maybe, but I don't think so. Most. Look, this is just a dead end, man. Most. First of all, most twenty six hundred games cow. are not four way scrolling. That's that's for sure. Except for new homebrews, there's very few four way scrolling original games. Oh and maze games, there's not too many of those. I know most maze games are full screen, whether it's an action maze. Oh. Hard indeed. I like this one. Mr. Fix says, "Yeah, this, it's it's like those okay. physical ones. There, you know, they're uh, is there a way? They're either like mostly wood, where you tilt it with the little dials. You ever played those? And you're a marble. And you have oh, to I played those before. And maze. you like play in like Science World and stuff yeah. like that. And you tilt the whole board, and the marble tilts back and forth. But this one, you touch the walls and you're dead. And that one, you don't. Oh, Junior Pac-Man." Junior Pac-Man does have vertical scrolling. Uh, doesn't have horizontal scrolling. Um, so that is another good example of uh, scrolling. You don't affect like affect the scrolling. It just moves with you. This one you can move independently of the scrolling or move the scrolling as well. 
Because Junior Pac-Man, you move... Oh my god. If you move up, the whole maze moves as well at the exact same time. This one, you have a choice. So I, I think this would be unique. Lucky, th lucky thing is... Ooh, oh my god. Careful. Yeah, you, you want to get a little bit of room ahead of you. Well, so definitely. You, so you can see... Oh man, you have to kind of trace back how to get there. <laughs> You're getting the hang of it, that's for sure. And the, the controls are so, oh my God, so touchy, right? Well, I realized that it actually is almost like box-like at this point, right? Yeah. So the thing is, is that like, like you see, like I can only kind of like go. So there we go. And now that right. I have like a long diagonal, I can kind of like, it up. I'm figuring out the trick. But see something like this is like, Oh, Wave Rain's out of here. Have a good night, Hi, Wave. Wave Rain. Thanks for hanging out. I hear a little tap, tap walking. Whoa, wind, okay, I'm wind dead. louder oh. as you near a wall, lower moving away. Oh, that's a good way. Tap, 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 tap. Yeah, that'd be a good sound. Yeah. And maybe, yeah, because you don't want to overwhelm with sounds on a game. So it's, because you don't, you either want nice music playing constantly or reactive music when something happens. And really the only thing that's happening in this game is you're moving around. Rip. And there's two different ways of moving around. So you could have two different sounds. One for you just moving, and one for you moving the maze. It could be like... Exactly, a lower sound for the whole maze moving, and little sounds for you moving yourself. Definitely. Holy cow. Uh, okay. Okay, this is... I can't immediately um, name a game that operates in this manner. I don't want to replicate an idea if it's clearly been done better elsewhere. But so far, I like where the game's headed. I like this, too. I'm like... Yeah. Um, I kind of hate it and love it in that in that gamer way. Do you know what I mean? Where I'm like fully challenged yeah. right now. Somebody criticized him in the forums for what? making the game hard through controls like you know games that are hard only because the controls are hard i wouldn't say that i'd say I'd that's the challenge it's i'd like, say don't this touch is a borderline walls. puzzle game i'm yeah. not gonna lie at this level yeah at this point yeah at the beginning it's like oh this is kind of weird and inconvenient to move oh you're one pixel on there but at this point it's like mm, this it's is more a game of, a challenge. of patience my friend it is this is a game of methodical. <laughs> Have you figured out the way to get there? Or um, still, I got some ideas. It um, it's not necessarily obvious. Yeah. Where? Is that magic flute um, giving you trouble? It doesn't seem to be um, interfering too it much. It definitely does because it's kind of generally near the bottom. So like the issue yeah. becomes like, Whoa. like, see, there oh, we go. Okay, it went right after you. <laughs> and it's so frustrating because it's like right near you at the beginning. <laughs> It's That's so right. close to your beginning point. It does wrap around vertically and horizontally, but not oh, yeah, I'm dead. perfectly. Yeah, I'm dead. There's a little bit of extra on each side. Actually, horizontally, it wraps around perfectly, I think. Yes, it does. So if you're tracing horizontally, you can trace exactly from the left to the right. But if you're tracing vertically, there is a bit of a gap. So, you can see every single thing. There it is. Okay, so there, 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 there. So you go. Actually, that's not. I don't think that does it because this is actually a dead end. What? Yeah. No, no, no. Really? Yeah. Oh, you may be right. Let me show Have you. Have you been up there? Yeah, I've been up there, I believe. Because it's more complicated than you think. <laughs> I know it is. It's not. Oh, oh my god brutal this is brutal uh, this is is this the impossible level i don't no, think no. so i think the next one's impossible he has a oh secondary question if you think this is interesting what could be added to it added to it to make it a game beyond maze after maze after maze um i don't know i think it's interesting i mean we gotta definitely kind of like this is this is pretty hard curve i'm not gonna lie like this is like this is we went from, from like the last one to we this went one from, is like we went from dual we went from like okay i can takes me like maybe a minute to like this would be like <laughs> like 30 minutes of work 
Yeah, so um, maybe in one more level in between the last one and this one. Definitely. Yeah. But in terms of gameplay, I mean, what could you add to it that would still fit in with the theme? Like, I don't know. Power like what would a power up even do? Like you can't can't really add a power up. Because what, shoot down the walls? Oh, you could defend yourself against the bad guy, I guess. But yeah, I think you're getting there. See, wraps I think you got guy. it. This I think you issue. got it. Okay, don't die. Because oh. if you go down and then around and up, you got it. Just, just be super careful, man. You're almost there. Oh my god, taking so risks. You did it! Oh my god! Is this the first level again? Make the wall, it's not deadly, and the enemy invisible detected by sonar. That's cool. At least Holy doesn't... cow, that was a fight. Make Whoa, walls... whoa, get away from me. <laughs> oh, Buddy. right after you, that? That one. Oh, okay. Okay, this guy is... Is this the first level or no? No, this feels like... A, a little bit harder? A little bit harder, yeah. I don't know. Well, we'll see. No, this is the first level again. But this, this guy is, is so simple. No, but this guy is <laughs> way on me. Like this, I'm just, I'm just letting you know it was not like this before. Mr. Fix says, "Awesome, Marilyn." No, I think you've looped around. Yeah, this is. I think it's. Did they say it was impossible? And I just no, did no. the impossible. No, no, they didn't say oh, it was impossible. Oh darn! That would have been cool. Yeah. Look at this guy. Look. <laughs> He's defending his territory. I'd go way to the left and then loop around him. Whoa! Moving the maze moves him differently than when you just move around. Yeah, so there's some strategy there. Yeah. For sure. Like that. Um, no pro I just... Oh, BJ Best. He's jumped in and says... Hey, BJ. The game just restarts. There's no proper end to the game. So we... Dude, we, I beat your game. It was awesome, it. dude. Yeah. I like the concept. I like the different ways that it... Oh, <sighs> that it moves. I went for that suicide. Like it's very unique. And we couldn't think of another one. Um, there's lots oh, of maze games. Oh. And there's maze games oh, that okay, scroll buddy. vertically... I don't know about horizontally. I've seen some demos that scroll horizontally. Um, but I've never seen one where you move the actual maze. Yeah, it's very As neat. an option. Obviously, there's... I think that the next, I mean, teleportation would be... Very impressive, BJ Best says. That last level, the final level is awful. It is... It's really hard, it's man. It took me a while. I'm very patient, though. That's one of my virtues. I'm quite a patient person. I think of anything you could have... Well, I don't know, because that would make it really annoying in the these levels, is to slow the movement down, or to make it more precise, because you were having to, oh yeah, just like tiny. Well, bit. that's the like thing. move it down, slow it down just a tiny bit, like just, because when you're moving with the maze, it's slower than when you're moving without it, right? Yeah, that's right. So I would just kind of match the speeds, maybe. Yeah. Uh, he says, I have a timer planned to get higher scores based on faster completion. Oh, that would kill me. But I don't think that's enough. Yeah, especially on that last level. That would be death. I mean, I like, I like, it's honestly, it's not a bad idea, though, because if the timer is like, you get a better score if you go faster. Like, yeah, that's, and it goes down to zero. That's much more legit. But I wouldn't die. Like, you shouldn't, shouldn't be game over. This is more like a puzzle game where it, you don't have mm. lives, right? Because if you had lives on that last level. Pff, oh, oh my God. Rip. But I think just harder and harder and harder mazes. And the, I think the random generated mazes That's will cool. really complete the game. Will really add a lot to the game. That's for sure. Am I doing this right? Yes. Okay, okay, you're done. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. But you've done this one. Right? I know, but I'm just like, look, I'm so close. I'm so close. Arena Foot, maybe a special pickup item that would temporarily bounce off the walls. Okay. Okay, now that we're. This is the, the like fourth. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The next one's the impossible one. <laughs> I think teleportation would be neat. That would be very neat. Yeah, like somewhere, like pads that you could kind of bounce around with. Yeah, or an invulnerability for a second or something, so you can hit the walls like Horizon Arena Foot said. That's the next. Horizon Shift. This is. By Par Paul Marable. Now, actually, before we go to this, uh, I'm going to give a little preamble. Oh, I have a game-related statement to make, too. Okay, you want to do it now? I can do it at any point. Okay. When, when, just let me know when it's a good point. Um, we'll do it during the game. Sounds good. Yeah, because there'll be some, some, some downtime some there. To do. 
Um, so this game is a demake. Actually, this is this has never been shown before. It's brand new, so it's kind of an exclusive, but not really. He was giving it out like candy, but it's never been posted for download yet. So it's kind of exclusive-ish. Well, thanks for making it, BJ Best. We love your games. the artwork, James. I did. I did. Oh, I didn't. You did it did it. on my side, but... Uh, no, no, no. Oh, no, there you go. There you cool. go. Um, so this is a demake of an upcoming Nintendo Switch game. Mm -hmm. It's by the same person. Wow. So the person made the, that's made the Nintendo Switch game called um, Horizon Shift 81. I made this game for the Atari 2600 just for fun. <laughs> because it was done his other game and he wanted to do some more um so and it was also originally made for steam in 2015 um by paul marable as well, again cool. uh, by flump studio so we're going to take a look at the switch version first cool and then see how it is the same or different oh so you're popping something up you're going to show online yeah okay cool so how do we do that Get this going. There we go. Scroll down. Bam, bam, bam. What are they seeing? They're just seeing us. Okay. They're just seeing the, that right now. Not, nothing yet. I'll, I'll get the video going and then I'll switch over to this. Oh, one. good idea. Right. Peggy 3. <laughs> That's, like That's the European. rating system, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's like European it's rating like system. It's like two-year-olds, nah. But what two-year-olds are playing games? What are what's like a Peggy three? I don't know what Peggy. What's an infant? You have to be game? three. Yeah. <laughs> you have to be three. I guess if there's no violence or something, you just make it. Yeah, it's three-year-olds. Two-year-olds yeah. don't need to play. I think they're saying two-year-olds and under shouldn't be touching video games yet. They yeah. should be reading books or just <laughs> playing with blocks or. <laughs> they should be. I don't know what they should be doing. They should be nursing. <laughs> learning not, about the world. Not playing. Yeah. Not playing video games. Okay, so I think we're. Is this? Let's see. We oh, we got the. There we go. Is this it? Oh no! Oh, what? Oh, oh, there we go. Yay! Okay. Okay. So this is his. Um, this this is the trailer for cool. his uh, Switch game. Uh, by the same name. Which, is, let me just bring up my notes. Whoa. Again. Obviously, we're not going to replicate this in the 2600. Yes, yeah, different. But probably. it is like an old schoolish looking yeah, explosive retro, retro action. action. It's so like centipede and like some. Whoa. That yeah. looks cool. Though. Yeah, shooting up. So the. Let's see. So the the ba so ba it looks basic like some premise, breakout. Oh, he's got some different levels. Some I don't. The one for the 2600 doesn't have all battles. these things. Makes sense. But the basics are there, like switching sides, top, bottom. Like you're a guy who flips upside down, back and forth. Actually, this, you know what? It's just like 2001 Space Odyssey like <laughs> overlay. Levels, it's like, of, look at look at the background. All the colors. Yeah, it's yeah. just like... Crazy. And there's some Galaxian type things. Yeah, and that's, some that's... Centipede type things. He's throwing in some old school looking stuff. Battle like, like it's 1981. 1981. Holy very cow, cool looking. that's cool. Oh, some asteroids in there, I saw. Got got, got some split arrow. <laughs> <laughs> some okay, multi-shot. So. Oh, we're almost at the end. I'll let it play to the end. Yeah, why not? Horizon, Horizon Shift. Shift. 81, so. And this was just, the Atari uh, version was just put out a couple days ago, and he's going to release it. Um, let's switch back. Pimping the Amiga. <laughs> it's yeah. a different different thing. different different thing there we go incredible yes uh it does look very good so we're gonna play the 2600 version obviously it's gonna be a d make it's not gonna look that good it's gonna have what is very this simple thing graphics. that's going on here is this a mustached guy who's getting it's shot got, it's a must it looks like a mustache guy with a boxy head any theories on what this is and like that looks kind of like a muscle on the bottom left yeah well, we got it's like got a missile launcher in the top left I don't know. Shit's it going looks like down. a drinking box head. He's got it a straw does. out of the top. It's like of the Kool Aid character. Yeah. Mm. Okay, let's let's move on. Let's. Whoa. Uh, okay. Um. Take that. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. 
So Horizon Shift uh, is a sequel demake from the original Horizon Shift using the power of the Nintendo Switch. The player controls a ship in the center of the screen, enemies approach from the top and bottom, and the player is able to switch up and down to deal with the encroaching horde. So that's the description for the Switch. Obviously it carries over a bit. Um, and he ty typed this in... Okay, what's going to happen if this goes? Okay, just die. Damn. On the Steam page. I don't know how I could have survived. So you have multiple lives. After finishing working on Horizon Shift 81, the only logical step was to work on an Atari 2600 version of Horizon like, look, Shift. I'm dead. I'm done. <sighs> Gotta get to it, man. Gotta get there. This is rough. This is... Here, uh, the ROM will be made available with the release of Horizon Shift 81 on the oh Nintendo Switch. See, I'm dead. I'm done. Like, You know what I mean? There's nothing we can do. <laughs> oh. I'm also looking to do a limited 26. run of physical copies, but I'm not sure 100% okay. that that's feasible yet. 26. 26. Better than 26. So, um, I talked to uh, Paul, Paul Marable, who uh, made this game, and he let me know that the, the ROM will be available on his site when it's released, See? and he's trying to get a physical release with Atari Age. This is like more of a race to like, can you get to the thing that's <laughs> running? See, like, look at that, right? You made it. Like, if they're on opposite yeah. sides, it's like... It's brutal. It's I, don't think, I don't think you can even make it from left. Like, like, look, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Look. Oh, my God, 20, 20 points. Okay, it's better than last time. Okay, okay. Oh, 26. Yours was your last score was 26. Oh See, like, what do we do? What do we do? Nothing. You get it. You done. can do it. You could have made it. Oh, my God. You could have made it. It's hard. You can do it. Yeah, and you really can't make mistakes either. Oh, 45. Oh my god, okay, okay. 45 is better than nothing. This one's called, I wish the sprite could move faster. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that would be a very good thing. Because holy cow. I like, see when he goes back and forth, it kind of jumps, goes bloop, bloop. Thanks, bloop. Arena, for always uh, keeping, keeping Yeah, count. very, very helpful. Especially when we're doing high score games. When we're trying to compete for other with other people for a high score. You can barely make it to the other side. Yeah, that's the issue, right? But so you can't a, miss, though. There's like, a serious, like, RNG element to this. Because, <laughs> like... <gasps> Oh, what? Ooh, rough. Oh, I see it just doesn't flip your character. It flips. It caught me. No, you got hit by the flip. bullet, yeah. I did, but the um, just the animation. Oh, no. oh, and then I got hit by the bullet. It's okay. Yeah. Not everyone's going to be able to get, you know, 45. It's, I know. It is not... elite. Pretty elite score. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's already been crushed on the first go. God, you got this. Holy shit. See, there's, but there is an element of just, do another one. 52, no, now two. you have to be 52. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. I think I could have done better in my first life, though. I think I messed up. Okay, okay. He, in, in some footage that he shows, he gets like 90. I think he did that in an early build. Because <laughs> it's just so... Uh, it's probably possible. It's oh just my not... God. It's just... It's, it's just, just a randomness. It goes... Well, there is an, a real element of like, like, see this? That's hard, but not impossible. But when it starts getting on both sides all over the place, then it's like, no, I just can't physically make it. Yeah, like, see, this is pretty rough. That's hard. And you can't miss. There's no missing in this. And you have to go for groupings, yeah. Bam. Okay. Can do it yeah oh my god you're rocking oh god. it uh -oh. oh oh so close okay i gotta oh, get this good, good first uh first man first life first go at it okay come on that was like borderline you know what i mean yep almost there No, oh, I'm no. done. Oh, 53. You beat me by one. <laughs> it's just because that first one was lucky. Okay, well, that oh. gives me a that gives score you, to aim for. Gives you something to shoot for. Yeah. Damn. Bloop, bloop. 
It's like puzzle pieces is what it looks like now. Just, <laughs> yeah. just, just floating down. Funny floating just puzzle pieces. Ever so slowly. Oh, tell me your uh, Oh, so um gaming related uh, story. I'm not gonna like get into it too much and give my opinion, but Names there's have been changed. But there's a big the there's innocent. a big my favorite game um is Diablo two. And Blizzard was bought by Activision. And Blizzard had this Damn huge it. announcement where they were basically going like, um, we I got a new Diablo thing. And the issue is, is like, we've been waiting, like Diablo 3 was a real like watered down version of Diablo 2. It didn't like occur to the main fan base. It was a little rough, but whatever. We've been waiting for like Diablo 4 for a really long time. And they had like, they brought all the streamers, like all the Diablo 2 streamers. <laughs> they got to like Blizzard's ah. like thing. And they were just like, hey, we got some announcements. And they basically announced a mobile version of the new Diablo game with n not on PC, 47. which um, which was like, right. and everyone's been losing their mind about it, and it's not a terrible thing. It's cool that there's a new game, but I just don't have any interest in a mobile game. Like the reason why, like there's I, a big split between mobile gamers and PC gamers, especially. Yeah, and it's tough because action RPGs are meant to be played on like a mouse and keyboard. Like that is really the, the and, yeah. And there's even bigger split between mouse and keyboard gamers and like um handheld controller games yeah right? and then and and the thing is is that right now online people are like losing it like it's like they're <laughs> betrayal well yeah and um i'm not gonna say that like i mean ah! I'm, I'm, I'm out of the game in terms of like You're action gonna... rpgs it's not it's no big deal for me like i'm happy that there's stuff that exists but i definitely if there was a new diablo game that was for pc i would buy it and i'm not gonna buy anything else um, do, you, do you think they're just cashing in rather than, you know, continuing on with their fan base, making their fan base happy? They're just like, we got a, we got a license. We're gonna milk it. Definitely. And the issue is, ah. is these friggin' um, uh, mobile games. You can just there's so many like loot box things, pay, to pay, win. And, pay and play. Exactly. So economically, they'll make t tons of money. But yep. it's really sad because it's like what my favorite kind of game is an action RPG, and there's just not that many of them that exist. And and Blizzard was the the really one of the only places. But actually, Diablo three wasn't that great. I mean, I played Path of Exile, and I love Path of Exile. But in any case, it's like in my world, it's a pretty sad thing. So you said they changed companies, they changed hands. Is yeah, and all the original programmers and developers for Diablo Two, which was is my favorite game, they didn't go on for Diablo Three. So mm. Diablo Three wasn't really a very like a good representation, and they really went for like the vanilla kind of fan base. They made the game very easy. Um, uh, you, they didn't. They eliminated skill trees, eliminated stats. All your wep all your items and weapons were like based off of just like um your gear oh dude you're crushing okay and so um uh so diablo 3 was a rough game diablo 2 is amazing it's my favorite game of all time and it's just sad to think that there's not much support from blizzard for games like that anymore all right and um very interesting. okay 90 is possible keep going keep the going the difficulty max is out there at about At about yes. 40. Yeah, there's definitely a... Um, ah! You got this, James. You got <laughs> this. There's definitely a difficulty... F there's like a... There's a... There's a... There's a uh, an RNG factor, but there's a skill factor. Oh, oh 84. 84. Not bad. I will retire with that. Okay, let me you see. You get one more chance. Let me see what I then we're going to move up. on. To the boxed game of Dungeon. Ooh. 84! World record. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, no, no, PB for sure. Nobody's nobody's uh, played this game before, so. And um, and the Except irony. Except for the people that have asked him on Facebook to play test it, but they haven't posted. No, some, somebody in their gaming video, I think there was around ninety, was one was one score, but it's totally totally possible. You just have to be able to keep up that crazy pace of like four coming at once yeah. at all times. Like, that was a terrible hand. Yeah, and see, this is where there is just an element of, like... Three on one side come all at once. Super hard. And, on, and across the screen, too, yeah. right? Because if they're, like, beside each other, it's it's actually, like, not... Good, good one. See, I think you're at the highest uh, difficulty now. Yeah, so it's around 35 that it uh, 
pickaxes. Oh. Good job. Oh, oh okay. The bullets. It's okay. It's those bullets. Yeah, Mr. Frick says, I can't stand to win, to pay to pay to play or play to win. Yeah, I just want to purchase a game, be done with it, and play the game. No one oh. updates, upgrades. Well, I, just... I did better. I got I got 59, I think. Yeah. You cool. did, you're done? Yeah, you good? We'll do. Yeah, we'll move on. It's but, not um... bad. It's very simplistic. Very simplistic. But once you get moving, it's like, oh, okay, this is, this is a good challenge. Good challenge. Okay, we're going to switch over to now a boxed game. Where's my... There we go. So there's the final, and the winner is Original Joystick, 40, uh, CX-40 with 28%. So people like the Original Joystick. Most. Uh, so, Dungeon. pick this up at Portland Retro Gaming Expo uh, by 2009. David Weevil, and and I bought it because he just put out his second one, which is up there, but it's on the bottom, so I won't get it right okay. now. Okay. Actually, I will get it. Yeah, why not? Because I need it up for Friday anyway. Oh my God. There we two. go. Dungeon two, Solstice. Um, so I bought both of them at once. There you go. Not nice. One, deux, trois. Um, and this was out put out 2009, and then nine years later, he put out the second one. The princess has been kidnapped, and you must rescue her. Kill the demon who commands the forces of darkness and his legions that dwell in the sprawling dungeon beneath the mountaintop castle. Mm -hmm. To aid in your quest, you'll be equipped with a sword, shield, and tattered remains of an old I'm map. I'm so on board. Left it's not behind. even funny. <laughs> awesome. By other brave adventurers, those who have never returned from the dungeon to tell their tales. Nobody? Uh, damn. Death awaits us. Dungeon is a turn-based assault in dark and dangerous multi-level labyrinth. Whoa. Along the way you'll encounter a variety of creatures hell-bent on your destruction. Aiding you in your quest is your spell book, chests containing magical items, and many wonders hidden in the dark depths of the dungeon. Can you rescue the princess and make it out alive, or will you be the dungeon's latest permanent resident? Oh my god. Okay. There we go. Let's We're playing crack, some dungeon. Crack open this game. Sorry, your princess is in another dungeon. Yeah, <laughs> in this dungeon. <laughs> so it's like, the... how many times can you pull that on me? There's the cart. Hide your face. Oh, yeah. No, it's still seeing your face. There I'm, we go. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm going ghost mode. There you go. Perfect. Ghost there mode. There we go. Pop that in. Joystick for... Ooh. It's all wrapped around. Oh no, this is a disaster. Sorry, James. It's okay. There you go. So yeah, it was it was a sad world, James. Yeah. In the action RPG. Yeah, yeah. everybody was disappointed, oh, upset. Yeah. What do we got in here? We've got a manual with the cover on it, looking good. But well, we got some dungeon to make us all to salve the wounds of, yeah. of Diablo Immortal. Well, that is upsetting when anything that you love or you play or you watch just gets destroyed by a new hand that yeah. is wielding it. And the thing is, is it was already dead on Diablo 3. Uh, you're just... And then six it, years later, it's like, rip. It was the last death. Yeah. It's rattles. ironic that uh, the, the death cry was Diablo Immortal. Oh, that doesn't look very good. Try that again. That looks a lot better. Okay. Hmm. Let's see what's going on. Oh, you're already moving around. Whoa. Uh, game program. David Weevil. Label, map, and manual art. David Dries. Thanks to all my friends at Atari Age whose suggestions and advice helped in the making of this game. Built with Batari Basic. The princess has been kidnapped and you must rescue her. Kill the demon who commands the forces of darkness and his legions that dwell in the sprawling dungeon beneath the mountaintop castle. To aid in your quest, you'll be equipped with a sword, shield, and tattered remains bottle. We've already read that. Getting started. This is a turn-based game. Move with a joystick. Use the fire button to select an action. To select or action. Uh, yellow stairs going up to a higher level. So we saw the stairs there. Uh, level one. Let's check at. this out. So we got ourselves a... Um, 
this is the main. Oh, so then okay. So I'm down here. You're in level one, so you go into the castle. That's right. Gray stairs going down to a lower level. So, though, oh, what is that? No, I missed. Oh. oh, it's like a, it's green slime. Oh, I missed again. This green slime is gonna mess me Moving up. Moving pile of ooze, weak, but only be, can can be killed with a lightning bolt spell or Excalibur. So I'm use getting... your spell. There you go. Uh, what? What? Oh, you cast a dit? No, that's not the right spell. Cast. Go to cast. Press a button. And not that. There, lightning bolt. There you go. Okay. There that's you go. great news. Okay, let me continue reading. Doors. Doors require a key the same color as the key they are on. If you have the key to the door, it will automatically open. Otherwise, it will be shut and you cannot pass through. Now, keys are dropped by Rough. monsters. Okay. They will automatically be added to your inventory. Lake of Fire. On the bottom level, you can only pass through it safely if they have the dragon's tooth. Okay, I won't. You can't fight them. I'm trying to, like... You cannot fight them. I'm trying to change it, though. It's not so easy. There you go. Oh, there cast. we go. Cast. And then Light. lightning bolt. Okay, I got there this. There you now. go. I kind of messed it up, guys. Oh, a spell plus two or whatever that is. I think so. What is that? Let me look that up while we encounter it. Uh, it Take that slime. does not say what SP, SP plus two. two. Any ideas? Oh. Curious. Spell points. Oh, there you go. Spell points, hit points. SP, you've got six. So. Okay, I leveled up. Oh, you just got more spell and more hit points. What is happening? Uh, that is a chest. Uh, stop. Oh, it zapped stop, me. Stop, stop, stop. Dropped by monsters. All chests are booby-trapped. There are three buttons on the chest that must be pressed in the right combination to be opened. A wrong guess will uh, result in a minus one shock. Ugh. This will require to restart the combination from the beginning. Example, you select one, then two, shock. You start back at one. Then three... Then two, two, then the chest opens. One. Oh, I'm dead. So two was right. So two. Yep. Three. Yep. Then one. One. What did you get? I don't know. Nothing. <laughs> I don't know what you got. You got something. Ah, heal. I need that. Okay. Seriously. You only have four spell points left, so. It's okay. As long as you, do, you may want to run from that slime. Don't fight the slime. I'm an idiot. You'll never hit him. <laughs> Uh, okay. That slime. You may oh, also God. exit from the chest menu. Uh, okay, I'm dead. Rip. No, you've got 11 hit points. Three. No, three, two, one then. Luckily, you have a one in three chance of getting the first one right. Then 50% chance, then 100% chance. Now you've got no spell points left. It's okay. I'm, I'm going to, like... Um, Run away from the slime? Yeah. You don't have to. That's, that's the plan. Uh, uh, dragon's Tooth. Okay, I'm fighting a ghoul. Is oh, okay. this... What's Weak, this? but if bitten by one, you'll be poisoned and quickly die unless you cast a healing spell. Uh, I think I might be poisoned. Yes, you are. Oh, God. And you have no spell points left. You Rip. Run from that dude. Run. Rip. <laughs> yep. Five, four, three. Oh, Two, three, two, one, rip. Oh. So don't use up all your spell points. Okay. That's the lesson we learned. Now that is a lizard man. Extremely agile. They get two attacks per turn as opposed to your one. Unless you're wearing the elven boots. I want some elven boots. Uh, and the only thing we haven't seen, we've seen the skeleton, right? We haven't seen a ghost. Feeds off magic energy. Every hit will drain your spell points. If you're out of spell points, hits will drain your hit points instead. Oh, God. Demon, supreme evil. He has lots of hit points. No picture. Black Knight, guardian of the halfway point of the dungeon. It is up to you to figure out what special characteristics he has. So is he I'm so yet? into this right now. This is my kind of game. So you got the purple key. There you go. Level two now. Skeleton, easy. It's called Cannon Fodder of the Dungeon. No special oh. characteristics. Missed, thank God. In your face. No! <laughs> yeah. Ah! Good. Yeah. Ooh, two extra spell points. That's great news. That's great. And your hit news. points are pretty good still. You ready for level three? Whoa, okay, Whoa. this guy. This guy is ghosts. You just hit him like normal. 
Oh, you're casting a spell? I can cast a spell. Okay, maybe I can fight him? What do you think? Yeah, I'd go for fight. There you go. Oh, big hit. Big, oh, what was that? Oh, he just drained. That's why. Oh, oh missed. It's okay. We got some spells. Oh, he's oh, draining my spell points. spell points. Ooh, another good hit. Mine. Good. I got the gold key. That's good news. That's up. You don't want to go up. Lizard dude. Take that, lizard man. He gets two hits. Yeah, he's a, he's a monster. But not too heavy on the hits. He's a so monster. That was okay. a good hit. Nice. No reward. Level up. Awesome. I got some spell points. Nice. And a level up. I'm just gonna... Okay, a dragon. Very strong. Dragons like to build their lairs in hidden passageways. Oh, got the key. Nice. Princess, hidden somewhere in the dungeon. Uh, I'm going to when... go... Oh, that's the door. It's unlocked. Yeah, it's it. unlocked now. So you, I guess you could pass through. Oh, what's this? Princess, wait, wait, wait. When you encounter her, hit fire to free her. If you kill the demon without rescuing her first... Ooh, you haven't found the demon on this level. If you If you kill the demon without rescuing her first, the remaining monsters will take out their revenge on her. If you kill the demon without rescuing her first... So you want to rescue her first. So I just hit fire? Yeah. There you go. she give me some life? I... Sure, uh, she's just some love. Yeah, she just uh, love. We all need some love. Now you're level four. Good job. Oh, you have to... Yeah, cast. Lightning. There you go. Good hit. Nice. Some you spell got some spell back okay, for we're it. good. Uh, has anybody out there played this game before? It's been around for a while, so I'm sure some people out there Ah, this guy right here. Oh, uh, you missed too. Good, good news. No! Oh, rough. Okay. In your face. Yeah, oh, nice. spell points. Pretty good with the spell points now. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't do too many of those. Well, you know. Yeah. It's better to do it outside of a fight, though. That's my than thought. Than to waste... Oh, oh shit! Well, it's, yeah. it's an issue because like, well, your princess was in this dungeon, so do you exit out then? No. Are you done the game? No. Like, like, you got the princess. That's the whole point. So maybe you are supposed to exit out. I'm going deeper. Does Any ideas? Really you know what's up, Mister Fix? I'm 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 fighting lizard man. That's what's happening here. All right, switch B. No fairy. Oh, we don't have a fairy in this game. I've switched off. Listen. Fairy. If you set the right difficulty A, a uh, fairy will be added to the possible items in the chest. She is infatuated with you and wants to prevent you from rescuing the princess. Oh, it's harder. Never mind. <laughs> or endangering yourself by finding the demon. Her method is to accomplish is to hide in a chest you're about to open and helping you. Teleporting you backwards to the dungeon, one through three, three levels. Ooh. Like all other chest items, she will cease to exist in the game if the chest she is in is destroyed. I'm worried. Don't. Oh, you're getting a little... Uh... Why does this guy poisons me? I'm dead. Yeah, done. you... Oh, he did poison you. Should I just kill him? Yeah, you have to kill him, yeah. Or you could run, but... Okay, now... Wait, 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 wait. Don't do anything yet. You need to heal yourself. Yeah. There's cure light wounds and cure heavy wounds. Are you still poisoned? No, you're good. <gasps> what is that? It's Excalibur, dude. Nice. What is that? The Holy Grail. No, that's not it. What's this? Sword in the stone. What's oh, this? That, dude. Oh, I only have... No, no, don't use that. I'm not going to use it. I'm just like... Okay. Uh, sword in the stone. Excalibur. See if you're worthy to draw it from the stone by pressing the fire. There is a prerequisite. You must have the prerequisite. Maybe it was the princess. I already yeah. got it. Yeah. Okay. Level six. Whole um, night. Excalibur, yeah, this guy. Wait, wait. Oh, I just did. But you got it. But don't don't do it yet. Okay. Uh, you may call on the power of the sword to deliver a massive blow three times. I feel like this is the dude to do it on, right? Uh, he is a tough dude. Because it didn't say that like halfway point through the dungeon, but you also have to fight a dragon. Well, the thing is, is it says there's only one way to beat him, right? Nope. Special characteristic. Oh. It's up to you to figure out what his... I feel like he might be only killable by the Excalibur. Should I try to do a fight? Can yeah, do a fight. No, you're fine. I wouldn't use a... Don't use the sword. I already did. I would wait till... Well, once only. Okay. So I'd wait to the dragon to use it for sure. 
Um, I'm just gonna like, in the meantime, oh god, I'm just gonna like, whoa! Oh, oh you dude. need some hit points. I know, man. I was gonna do that, but it missed, oh no. You only hit you for one, but you're really low. Definitely use, wait, wait. I'm okay, so how do I? Because you've got two different heals. How do I heal again? Like, I... press the button. No, don't do it yet. Okay, okay, so. Because you've got cure light wounds and cure heavy wounds. Cure light wounds cost two. Cure heavy wounds cost seven. I'm going to use that. I'm using this. Cost six. Uh, if you have five or more damage, the heart will be red. If the heart is not you have to have at least... I think I'm going to do this. This seems like a good idea. It does. You're really low. Bam! Oh, that's a lot of hit points back. Okay. Yeah. We're doing great. Yeah, you're good now. You don't have a lot of spell points, but hopefully you can gain some back. Ooh, chest. Oh, Oof. God. So not one. Not one. Two. Two. One, three. Oh, lucky. What is that? Bar of gold? Looks like it. Mm. Should I do it? I got some. I got some. You, you're pretty good with spell points. Oh, I think my spell points got filled by that box, oh, right? Oh, nice. Yeah. That's great news. It doesn't, it doesn't say what that is. Yeah, I'd go for a couple more. Well, because I got... Yeah, I gave myself a little yeah. bit. Uh, there's a holy grail, but that's definitely not a holy grail. That bar. Whoa, what's this? Oh, that is a specter. Wait. Or it's... Oh. What is that? It must be a demon, because it doesn't look like a ghost. What do you think? Uh, do I... Wait. I, okay, I don't have to actually oh, do Oh, it's anything. not. What is... Should I just push through and see what happens? What is that? Yeah, there's no one on the other side. Uh, press... Oh. I would go back to him and press the button. Whoa. What? Oh. Okay, this is a ghost. Yeah, you've, you've encountered one before. Just hit him. The only thing you need to use your, your spell on is the slam. And you drain your spell points. No. Yes, oh, but fine. you got some back, so it's all good. good. News. Okay. Oh, that's Holy Grail. Wait. Drink from the whole, drink from the Grail, and its mystical powers will increase your max hit points by three, even if your max hit points is at 20. It will also heal you to max hit points. Dude, I'm getting this stuff. Nice. Bam, 19. 19. So 20 is like the max. You're almost a max hit points now. Nice. You're getting powerful. Oh, God. Nice. Good hit. Some spell points. Yes. Oh, now you're doing good. Okay. 14 spell points. Now, what is that? Hidden corridors. Oh, that must be. Maybe what not. is it? Hidden corridors. There's a few hidden corridors scattered throughout the dungeon behind false walls. Move towards a wall and it... If it's false, it might let you pass through. Oh. That's not it, though. No. I don't know what that is. It's a weird thing. I leveled up! Nice. You're at max hit points now. Good. So you should be able to just trounce on people now. And just smash them. I hope so. I should have saved Excalibur. For the <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But we didn't know. Didn't know. It's part of the joy. Black Knight okay, so. was a hard foe. Okay. Okay, so I think I've exhausted this area. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, go for it. That's deeper, right? Yeah, level eight. Holy now, shit. What do you think? Yeah, you, know, you cast. Yeah, you have to. It's the only way to get him. Nice. Now, the knight was on halfway through, the Black Knight. So I think he was on level four. Five or six? Yeah, so it was like ten levels, so I guess. About ten, I would think. Uh, what else are we missing here? Ooh, here's some good... You can stop time. Cost six spell points. Freezes an enemy for three Yeah, Okay, that's what we're using on that dragon. Oh, yeah. Save it up for we're that. Gonna, we're going to like go in with some full... Yeah, everything you got on him. Anybody nice. play Final Fantasy? That's the tactic for... Oh, oh what? that's the level down. Oh, cool. Should cool. I do it? Yeah, I think so. I think you did yeah, I, I think I'm doing level. like pretty well. Yeah. Your max level. You could use a couple more spell points, but you're still fine there. Got some good armor, obviously, because you're uh, 
ducking and dodging their hits. Yeah, man. I want these elven boots, though. I don't know where those are at. Oh, yeah, that would be good. Oh, I drained my spell points. Come on. Oh, good. Yes. Nice. Nice, powerful hit. Ah, uh, one is not a good plan. Two, one. Ah, uh, yeah, two, two, three, three one. one. Hopefully get some good stuff. Is that a boot? Is that an elven boot? What, was what is that? that? It's a red thing. Okay. <laughs> Look like kind of a boot. Oh, I just used the... <gasps> Did you? Yeah, because it, it was the, it was like the first one that was open. Oh, no. Okay, we're... You only got one powerful hit left. That's what did you use it on? I just this zombie. Oh, it was a, the, the problem was is easiest it easiest thing in the whole yeah, game. Yeah, it wouldn't have like been oh, hard no. to do it. The problem was is it was like the first one available, and oh. every time I've been doing it, it's, it's just been, been on fight. Damn it! Damn it! I gotta I gotta pay attention. Ah, yeah. oh. oh, he's, he's taking you down. Well, you're on level ten now, so it's gonna be dragon time. Yeah, I don't go don't go lower on spell points here. Well, you're gonna have to use them now. Yeah, run. Yeah. I'd save your spell points if you encounter them. Okay, that. there seems to be like it's gonna be a hidden wall because it was talking about hidden walls. So you're gonna have to press through a wall, like down. Or up here. Well, we or need, down we here. We need to like get some spell points. You know, we got to do a little bit of farming. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Before you go to the dragon, yes. That's smart. Okay, I've got that. What's it? Do we, do we Did do you go it? through it? No. I mean, it's, it's still on the same level, so. Oh, that's you can go down it. one more. That's it? Yeah. Should we do it? I think so. Okay, that's Level it. 11. I don't think they'd make level 11 the final level. No, it's level 12 is the finale. Too. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna say poison me. Watch. Oh, wow. Cool. No, you got him. You got him. Yes. Good news. Yeah, it's gonna be a level level twelve for sure. Cause I, I'm pretty sure that uh, Black Knight was on level six. Ah, uh, should we Did go you... back? Yes, definitely. We should like. <laughs> I wouldn't. You need spell points, man. Yeah, we need some. You need some need, spell points. Some... I don't think you're quite ready to fight no, him. No. Your hit points are okay. Sixteen out of twenty. And then we but can your spell get. Spell points are a little low, and getting lower. <laughs> Oh, and even lower. Oh, God. This is terrible. Oh, no. Okay. Good. Damn it. Oh, Mr. Drano. Drano. Oh, no. You're not even be able to heal yourself. Oh, they're okay, at zero. Okay, we're in trouble. We're in some serious trouble right now. Spell points. Serious trouble. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Give me some but at point. least that guy, you should be. Oh, yeah, you should definitely go for this because two, two, three, two, three one. one. Hopefully, it's a nice big filler up bar. <gasps> shield, you needed that. That's good. Okay. Does it say I'm gonna run from anybody. Yes, I got some spell points. <clears throat> well, yeah, run from. Difficult guys, maybe. That's our way down. Okay. So I'm gonna go back and because I didn't fully explore a different level. Can run from that dude. Whatever. Keep on running. There you go. Because you can't. You you can't. You're gonna go up a little bit. Well, I'm gonna like. Yeah, I'm gonna fight that guy. say anything about the shield though you even though you got the shield oh your hit points are low now and your spell points <clears throat> on the bottom level you can only pass through it safely if you have the dragon's tooth do we have the dragon's tooth? no we definitely don't have a dragon i didn't tooth. see anything that resembled a dragon's tooth yeah smart Still going up? Or no? No, I'm going down Go just to down. see if there's some. Oh. Yeah, the good stuff's in the uh, chest, so it's worth it. Oh, <gasps> good. Full spell points. Yes. 
I would use hit points, uh, use some of it for hit points. I'd use the big heal right now. Okay. Not that one, yeah. There you go. I would even do it again. Yep. Yeah, we got 20, okay. Terrible spell points, but one of them had to go up. What we gotta do is Dragon Tooth situation now, too. True, that's the last thing we need. Icebo says he likes Dragon Stomper for Star Pass Supercharger better. Oh, God. Come on. Okay. Oh, come what is on. happening? Ugh. Yes. Give us something. Oh, run from that. Good. Because you can only defeat him with spell points and you don't have any spell points. Maybe look for f secret passages in the walls. Because maybe there's some good chests behind it or something. Oh, nice. Oh, drain spell points, but... Yeah, maybe run. Uh... Ah, uh, fight him now. There's oh, nothing to lose. Yeah. <laughs> Everything to gain. Oh. oh, he does hit you for... Oh, right. He doesn't just take... Oh, nice. Please be a spell. Okay, we got lucky. <gasps> Perfect! Excellent. We got some spell points. That's and decent. okay hit points. Uh, I'd rather run from this guy. Yeah. Nice. Good. Got him? Yeah. Oh, good. Another one. And a perfect. Ah! Oh, now you're in an awesome position. What do you think? I'm going to go for it. going to go for it? Okay. I don't know where it is, though, again. <laughs> because I kind of got turned around a little bit. Ugh. Ugh. Whatever. Yeah. Good hit. Need another chest. That was so perfect. And put your full up to full spell points. Please be a chest. Ah, damn it. Where was my thing again? Rough. Okay. Oh, it's draining. Me. I don't know where the exit is um, to go deeper. I'm kind of going in circles at the moment. Right. This is level... Let's see what level you're on. Nice. You need that bar of gold. Oh. That's not explained in here. Looks <laughs> I'm missing it. Oh, yay! Yes, now you're in an awesome spot. Okay, we're good. 16 and 18? Ah! Oh, 18 and 18. Okay, you got to find... This isn't like... But this goes... That's up. That's yeah, you, up. You're still like 10. You need to go 2 so. down. It's weird. Is it just a circle? Yeah, it's like a circle. Well, you gotta find a secret passageway then. There we go. There you go. There you go. Should we see what happens? <sighs> mm, no, you can't get past that. You don't have a dragon's tooth yet. As far as I know. No, no dragon's tooth for me. Let me read about the dragon's tooth again. Unless it was one of those things is like, oh, what was that? Maybe we should try? I would try. Maybe it just won't let you pass. Let me read about it again. Okay, let's find out. Um, that looks like death, for sure. Like instant? You can only pass through it safely if you have the dragon's tooth. Dragon's tooth, acquired by killing a dragon. Oh. A lot of so you haven't encountered a dragon yet. No, not yet. So we're not even supposed to be here. Not even supposed to be here today. <laughs> today. <laughs> Maybe start looking for secret passageways on this level. Yeah. I think that's where a dragon will be. And also leveling up's not a terrible thing either, right? Yeah. Well, you're at your max level. Am I? Yeah. Twenty seventeen, you're doing good. Got it. Oh, light one. Okay, good. I might do it again, honestly. Yeah. Start looking 
looking for secrets. No. Ugh. Run for that, dude. Or maybe. Oh. Yeah, because you're using up your spell points. Oh, yeah, I yeah. shouldn't do that. Don't do that. Should yeah. I just run? And that uh, guy's going to drain you. I kill him. Actually, he gives you chests Potential sometimes. Potential chests, yeah. Which are really good. Okay. Especially if he keeps missing. Oh, buddy. <laughs> and you keep missing. <laughs> What a what a uh, what a cluster of a fight! Ah, yeah, just everybody swinging their sword wildly and totally not even touching. Ah, okay. oh, damn it! Good. You trying every single area? I'm gonna have a couple other potential spots. Yeah. Like down and to the left here. Oh, buddy. Rough. Oh. Rough. Rough. Okay. Five hits. Damn. In your face. Okay. So that's our exit. Oh, yeah. I don't want to go there. Run. right left right up and it's just yeah. and you can discover it just by pushing right there are a few hidden corridors scattered throughout through the dungeon behind false walls move towards a wall if it is false it'll allow you to pass through okay good that's good yeah so it's just pressing on it hey good stuff Certainly down from your 18 and 18 or whatever it was. Yeah, I was doing so well, and now yeah. it's like, now it's getting rough. Ugh. Okay, so that's the way down. Nothing to do there. Okay, I'm just going to keep going through these. Areas. Yeah. So there's definitely nothing on this floor. Yeah, no, I think you've exhausted everything there. Oh, that's a passage. You found a secret one? Yeah. Nice. I would think the dragon would be on the bottom level, though, right? Why wouldn't he be? Yeah, so I found a secret passage, but it's not. there's nothing here. It's just empty? Yeah, see? Uh, let me read about so the dragon again. Exciting. Dragon, very strong. Dragons like to build their lairs in hidden passageways. There you go. So that's where he is. What? Didn't make sense before. What do you think? Do you think um, maybe, like... Level 10? Ah, God. Okay. Yes, nice. okay. Yeah, you're on level 10 now, right? So this is like a hidden passage. Hidden passage you're right? in one now? Yeah. Okay. Should I just Good. like, do you think there's a chance that it'll spawn and I should hang out in the passageway until it spawns? I wouldn't think so. I'd think it'd be like in a specific spot. Um, in the hidden passageway. Like, I think the exits and entrances are always static, maybe? Ah, oh, two, three, one. Rough. Two, three. Nice. Yes, that's, that's what, what, exactly you what we needed. So you... Oh. What do you think? No. So that's a hidden passage, right? Okay. I must say it's very disorienting watching because I don't know which direction you pressed. It. Yeah, it just it's, looks like a random. It's not. Run from it's that not end. necessarily. But the implementation is pretty cool. It's pretty damn cool. I probably like a nine, like three by three grid. Yeah, so we have like a little an bit more an illusion of movement at least. Yeah, that's a good. Get my 
That's a good idea. Health. Now I'm gonna like go down here because the issue is is I'm that like mine all the way back there. But the problem is is like there's no I need it I need to find this dragon. Yeah. Oh, rough. Stop. Does anybody know what level the dragon is or where you find it? Is it on the last level? Maybe um maybe it's in that I'm just too tired of like <sighs> running. It's not. It's never worth. It. It's yeah, never it never worth gives it. us anything. It only gives you that spell plus two, and that's what you use to cast. So yeah. I don't think it's ever worth fighting that dude. Like ever. How many spell points does it, uh, it use up to? It's no point. Yeah. It's that's really weak. No point. Weak, weak. Oh, items in the chest. There we go. Plus one magic shield, elven boots, crown. Oh, we haven't got the crown. Ooh. Never gotten the crown. No, I think you yet. got the album boots. I think one of those look like boots. Definitely got the magic shield. I don't know about the crown. Uh, plus 10 spell point books, yes. And a fairy, which we don't have turned on. Um, Bloody hell, I'm looking for like a secret levels, man. There's nothing. Maybe he's in that passageway before the fire. Maybe it's like up, down. You want to try that? Cool. I think you... I've done like... I mean, unless we check every single level. Oh my god. There's no way. The dragon would be on the lower floors. I would go back down to level 12. And then go into the... This is a hard one, man, because it's like it's it sort of like you end passage. up it you it does and you have to sort of like bam in your face. <laughs> no, Spectre, <laughs> so many drain your spell points. Purple. Oh. Oh, down to four. Rough, man. Oh, they better. He better give you some. A chest. Give me something. Nothing. Nothing. But they are good for giving you chests, though. So. Oh my God, I might be screwed soon. Yeah, I'm screwed. Now he's gonna hit your hit points. Ah. Ah. Terrible. Buddy, give us something. Okay. No. <laughs> Two. One. Oh, uh, it's always <laughs> the worst. Like. Yay! Yeah, that's okay. Exactly what you need, but still, still not great. Yay! Okay. Oh my God, I'm trying to like. I, it, I, I can't remember how it, what it is. Cause here it is. Okay, so you go like left, down, right. Yay. Level 11. Level 12. Oh, you didn't go. Run. Oh. Slime. I forget where our thing. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm... Death. Yay. Okay, good. 12 and 12. Yay! Ugh. Okay, you want me to go down? Yeah. I didn't see what that's Now like. go up, down, right. Up, down. Go to the right again, then go right. No. It's not there. You gotta just... No, I, I would do a big one. If yeah, it's never one. worth it. Eh? No. You get more out of... Uh... Hi, Atari. Oh, running away doesn't... Is level 12 the fire pit? Yeah. Okay. So it's got to be on this level. But you... I'm going to look it up. Yeah, let's see, let's let's consult some internet, guys. Yeah. This is this is getting This is fun for when you're like on your own. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm gonna go to this secret passage because it's the only secret passage I've been able to find, and I'm gonna see if there's some like. Oh, the dragon's in different locations every time. But what level is he on? <clears throat> No two trips will be the same, and since you must le track down at least the princess and the dragon each time, you'll need to search every nook and cranny of the dungeon. Yep. Oh, so it's different each time. So basically, uh, we gotta like look every level. It's almost easier to like start over at a certain point. Almost, but you're at your highest level, so I wouldn't. Okay, I'm going down to level. Uh, I think you went to level nine, and you searched level nine, so you have to go to eight. I think I might just go down to level one, <laughs> and you know what I mean. Go and, that way. And go methodically. No, no, no. no. Work it's... backwards. You, you did, you did eleven, ten, nine already. Okay, just that's do eight, a good point. seven, then trying to find the way back. As soon as you find it, then you can go back. Okay, so we're level nine. Yep. We'll try. Treasure chest with combination traps from Star Wars Genius. Wait. Uh... Found one? It feels like one, yes. Yeah, you went down, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I hate these guys so much. <laughs> so hard, okay. Ugh, your hit points. In your face. Presumably, as you go up the dungeon levels, you should be. It should be easier to to kill things. No, you don't want that one. Oh, I just lost all my points. Again. Oh, God. And I'm at like nine health. Uh, oh, no. Oh, apparently, it used to be a poster that shipped with this. That sucks. That's what happens when you don't buy them right away. You don't get all the bonuses. Yay! Exactly heal. Big heal. There you go. Bam, okay. Hit. That's deeper. Is that, 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 and then this is a secret passage. There's nothing. nothing. Okay, exit. Run. Blah. It's worth it. <laughs> Okay, so. Oh, yeah. Okay, level eight search. Okay, I got a good feeling about level eight, everyone. Yeah. I got a really good feeling about <laughs> level eight because we've sort of been very methodical with everything. So. Yes. And it sounds like like the dragons oh, don't move around, like they're static once they're placed, just like the princess. How are you finding the menu system? Once you, once yeah, you it's not to it, too it's bad pretty, once you get cool. used to it. It's pretty good. Um, okay, so that's the way down. That's the way. Take that, buddy. Nice. Ah! Oh. Two. Ah, oh, it's two, three, one every time. I don't know, like, why I don't just do two, three, one each time. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm doing Big it. Big heal. Okay. Then, yeah, leave it. That's not good. Okay, nothing. Back to decent stats again. Okay, it seems like there's, like... Okay, so there's no... There's no secret yet. Okay. At this level? No, not yeah. yet. But we haven't tried this one yet, so this might be it. No, this guy's putting up a fight to, to guard the secret if there Freaking is one. Skeleton. Oh my god, skeleton. Die. Yeah. Nothing. Okay. 
Okay, this one might be potential. Nope. Yay! Hey, that's ooh, not bad. Good stats now. Don't don't uh, do it. Don't use it yet. Okay, so. Oh, I'm gonna lose all my things now. Uh, Die. Okay, good. Two, three, one. Uh. <laughs> okay, so I think you're good on this. Yeah, so we gotta go, we gotta try seven now. What is that? What is that? Oh, I'm so confused by this. <laughs> by that thing? Yeah. So that's like deeper. That's like the main level. What is that thing? Does anyone know what that thing is? It's not explained in the manual. Let me read through it again. Oh, there it is. Cave of the Dead. So named because it's populated only by ghosts. The entrance to the cave will be somewhere in the lower levels. Hit fire to enter the cave. Hidden inside the cave is the Holy Grail. Oh. So you got to hit fire to go into those. Into that. I think I already got the Holy Grail, didn't I? I don't think. Oh, maybe it did. Let's oh, try. you did. Yeah, you did. So you did. You did hit fire on that. So I never mind that. Thing you didn't get is a crown we might have missed it but Some by now point, you should have got it i wouldn't it. mind having a crown yeah okay so this is the back so wow i gotta get some spell points back yeah it's just because i've been fighting those spectres oh, perfect okay, time two three three one. maybe it is two three one it might be the time. The, <laughs> it's just the most common we one, just I haven't guess. recognized the pattern okay it's not that I go into the uh maybe this oh, might be yeah. hidden in here right you're right <laughs> no I'm gonna oh. lose it all oh, oh. Okay. maybe he'll give you a nice chest no nothing <laughs> yeah, that's the, yeah. that is the. You, oh, okay, I should get out of this cave. Yeah, it's not, it's not helping me. At all. You're playing on the easy difficulty. Whoa. Um, you always get to to hit first. On the harder ones, it's random whether he hits first Jeez. or you do. Okay. Yeah. Out of here. Oh, Zybot's going to bed. Good night, Zybot. I understand. We're worth dun we're dungeoning. It's yes. a different vibe. Yeah. For sure. And uh, if I could escape the dungeon, <laughs> we just need the dragon, and we're we're good. Level six level six seems to be like nothing. Oh, it's a tiny one. Maybe yeah. this is the secret passage. I'm like trying to trying them all out. No, mm. Okay, I'm going to level five. <laughs> We're just working backwards. Yeah. That's all you can do. Take that. No. Come on. We gotta do this, man. We gotta get so this. So close. We like, just so close. We just, need to, we just need to find a secret passage with the dragon. That's all we need. And then we can get across. This guy whittling this you down. one dude, man. There's always one guy. Okay, nothing. Nothing. Whoa. Oh, found it. Did you? I found something. <gasps> yes. Okay. Should I just fight? Wait. Now, you want to cast your freeze on him, right? Well, is this the dude to do it, though? He's. Let me read. It says dragon. Well, there's demon, which we haven't encountered. Yeah, dragon. And there's no. dragon. It says very strong. I'm gonna cast. I mean, the the freeze time you can use that over and over again. So I definitely would do that. Okay, and just fight, 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 fight. fight. See how much you can get off him. 
Let's see how hard Cast he it. hits. You did it. Dragon oh. Tooth. Dude. Oh. Okay, finally. that was that was some smart nice. fighting. Okay. That's really good. Okay, now let's work your way back down the dungeon. And then we'll then, get and then we'll then get our points up. Points up, cross over, and then I guess you fight the demon. I think this is the plan. There's nothing else to it do, says, man. It says Supreme Evil has lots of hit points. No, Supreme ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> <sighs> now we know the the combination to their luggage. Two, That's three, right. one. We know the. We can open it up every time, supposedly. Seven. In your face, stupid thing. <laughs> oh, these guys uh, are the worst. Six. Nice. Just give me a chest. Oh, oh. you got him there. Oh, okay, yeah, look at this. He's gonna. Oh, just eating up this. There, you gotta have Give me a chest, give me a chest. Oh. Chest, give me a chest. I need yeah, a chest. You really need it now. He's gonna get me. Yeah. Yeah. Rip right there. Okay. Oh. Okay, good. No spell at all. No spell points. Give me like anything. There. Two, three, one. <laughs> it's that... always the same. Oh. oh. I got ten. Okay, that's good. That's gonna help now. That we know the. The one combination. That's really weird. That it's weird. I, f I feel like that's something that like you great. would you would want to like maybe mix up. Maybe that's on the hard level. It changes. It must be. Because that's that seems wrong. Like it's one dude with all the chests and he puts all the same combination in his whole dungeon. Well, he does have to open them. That's a good point. It's <laughs> a very right. good point. You'd have to write down like a hundred different chests. But you'd think the chests belong to the monster, Smart. right? Not the dude running the place. I guess it does. Okay, um, so now I gotta just farm, right? Yeah. Until, we're, until we get... Definitely farming. Because you're at 1210 and that's not gonna cut it, I don't think. I don't think so either. Need to do some chest farming. What should yeah, I do? Should, make, better. should I heal? At this point, I would. Yeah. Mm. And then I'll wait. Yeah, yeah, wait. Your head points are decent now. At least you still got one big hit. So I would do the freeze time, big hit, fight, fight, freeze time again. <laughs> there we go. These guys are like decent. Nice. Two, three, one. Nice. Hey, okay. So I should do full heal. Yep. Another full heal. Perfect. Kay. Now you just need to get another one of those bars. You are golden. I really wish I would have saved Excalibur for the demon. I know. What a shame. But if you get... Because I could have totally... This this time stopping is like, if I knew about that, yeah. that would have been the best. Yeah. That would have been the best. If oh. you have full stats going in, I think I think you'll be able to kill him. I'm stopping time. Excalibur, hit, hit. Yep. And then stop time again. pretty random dropping or is it the only the ghouls the ghosts that... oh okay should i do it should I oh just yeah run? he's no no no. he's the guy who drops the chests mostly good point yeah, not that time i'm just gonna bounce between these two yes. he's gonna poison me i just know it i just know it <laughs> i've been pretty lucky with been no pretty poisons. lucky between those two. Just so that, like, to speed our, our process up. Yeah. Why wander around? It's totally random. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Yeah, See, we just need position. one. We just need, like, one. One more. I think it gives you ten. It right? does give me ten. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Spectre. Yeah. Death. Oh. This has got to be the one. 
Six. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Give me skip it to us. Just, oh. Oh, I definitely have those boots because that guy's only been hi hitting, I've only been doing it once, right? Um. Yeah. What? What do the boots do? Because I think they make it so that this, this okay. lizard guy can only attack me once. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah, because he's only... So now you just need one more chest. Actually, I'll do a heal, small heal, or a big heal. Yeah. There we go. Oh, perfect. Now you just need a ghost. Get the chest. Not that dude. Ah! No! I don't care. I'm going with 19. 19 is oh, not yeah. the end of the world. No. There's an RNG. It always comes down to RNG. Yeah. Oh, there 16. you go. 16. What do you think? Mm. Do some small heals, yeah. Such a waste of small heals. I know. Now you just need that chest. I just need one chest. I just need one. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Uh, two cares. Stupid Nineteen. Slime. 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 Oh. Oh. <laughs> Nineteen and eighteen would be totally acceptable. Totally. I think, I think so. Because it's hard to get that perfect. Combo. We just want a like good go at it. That's yeah. all we need. Just one good go at it. And if I die, I die. Yeah. Oh, come on, Spectre. <laughs> come on. I think he'd be better against the weakest guy in the whole game by now. You think so, but <laughs> he is a level twelve or level eleven dude. And I, like, hit the dragon all three times, all four <laughs> times. Well, he was frozen. It is e easier to hit things when they're frozen. That's a good point. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, why are the specters not coming? They know. The game knows. Well, these guys can potentially drop a chest. Okay, two. That's not that's bad. Nice. Finally. Okay. Oh, okay. Still good. It doesn't matter. Still good. You got him. Friends, we're going to do this. We will. We're we that will. close. We're so close. We just, I just want to go at this. I just don't want to... We'll go in weak. Yeah. It's like... Because we'll regret it. We've invested yeah. so much time already. Yeah. Seven. Take that. Bam. Nice. Oh, miss. Oh, miss again. Oh, oh. this is going to drain my health. Yep. Yeah. I just knew it. We're at 16. Oh. Eight. Oh. Come on. Yes. Come on. Give him a chest. We need a chest. Oh, I might give you another one. So it's about one in three to get a chest out yeah, of these guys. Yeah, it seems. I mean, I think we've been doing really bad. Yeah. Uh, on the chest front, honestly. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, it's the same. Okay, this 14. is giving you that every time. 14. See, we just need a little bit of luck, is all we need. 16, 16. So close. I do a big heal. Uh, I'm gonna wait. Yeah. Because, like. I'm going to do a little heal. It's such a waste, though. But the thing about the big heal is it brings me to 10, and that's 4. Yeah. And, you know, okay. but a little heal. Yeah. Uh. Okay, one more little heal. Okay. Okay. That's true. Because if you get a go bar, or whatever it is, whatever the heck it, it gives you 10. That's, that's right. right. So it's like, it would be a waste if we got it. Ah. Oh. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> so we just, I just need a little bit of luck. I just need a little bit of just luck, game. Touch. Just give me something. Give me something. Need a ghost. Need him right away. Okay, 16, whatever. Whatever. Yeah. 14, not bad. Great. Stop throwing these guys. 
Oh. It's kind of cool. It turns you around oh. when it's run. <laughs> Yay. I don't care. Just so. That'd be fine, too. If you got 1820. <gasps> Could it be? Will it be? I'm doing it. 1820 is awesome. It's the demon. Freeze him. Cast. Nice. Okay. And then the big sword. Minus eight. Not bad. Nice. Not great, because you get minus seven on a normal one. Freeze him again. Yeah, he's going to hit me. <sighs> Missed. Nice. Whatever. Cast. Freeze. Yes. yes. And now I'm going to just wail on this guy. Boom. Oh, we fully didn't. <laughs> we fully didn't need to do all that prep. We we just no. crushed him. Crushed. Oh my God! Okay. But you came prepared. And we got the princess. Nice. Whoa! We got everything. We got the Holy Grail. We got the two. Probably the crown because it didn't come up. Uh, yeah, you know. At some point, what we does just the didn't crown make... do? What does the crown do? Let's find out. Um. Doesn't just plus one magic shield, elven boots, crown. Just gives you a plus one on something. Doesn't say I don't see it. Didn't see it mentioned anywhere else. What the crown does? Because we get the holy grail, sort of a stone. Yep. Hit points, experience, cure. Nice. Okay. Cool. Good stuff. Wow. So, wow, great. That's a good game. That was such a good game. It's nicely I balanced. I love RPGs so much. It's my oh, favorite yeah. kind of game. <laughs> if you can have that, that stuff right there was just, mwah. Yeah, that is great. I don't need Diablo 4. I just need Dungeon. <laughs> just need Dungeon. That's all I need is Dungeon. So, let's go over the games tonight that we played. Yeah, Rail Slider. Hard as hell. Oh my god. A Didn't two know person game. Pretty much. Unless you've got your joysticks configured right, which it doesn't quite work out. Um, I think his game balancing needs a little work, but it is yeah. new. It is new. He's figuring it out. Um, I just and, I, and I don't we don't know how to get to the next level. I'm such a fan there's of no if you feel like there's like incremental improvements. I think that's why we're addicted it was to an, video games. Yeah. It's cause it's like a consistent metric. It's yeah. like in life there's nothing. You show up to work. <laughs> Someone yeah. yells at you because you were there. <laughs> then you get a raise because, the, you know what I mean? It's There's no you're metric in you're life. You're grinding for a while. But, like, in games you can, so it's tough when you just feel like it's an onslaught of, like, enemies that are just, like, you know, like it's, yeah. it's rough. Oh, everybody's... Right. Yeah, oh, wow. man, Mr. Dungeon was so they were, good. They were really, really quiet, just watching. Yeah, mesmerized. they were in there. They were like, just, I, dude, we crushed that demon. Destroyed. He got he, one hit and he missed. missed. That was it. And if you timed it right, you could have done it so that he didn't even get a turn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So Rail Slider, I think it needs more ramping up. It just is an onslaught immediately. It's too hard, and we need instructions. Yes. Uh, chip Off, fun little tiny bouncy ball game hitting the bricks. Yeah, just classic. Just, yeah, classic. Very, fun. very simple sort of game. I mean, it's too bad. I can understand though, like abandoning it because we already have Breakout. You know, we already have yeah. that kind of game. There's a bunch of games like. That. Um, but the paddle work, as you said, was really nice, and I like that really you well can done. like uh, the ramping up of difficulty where you have wider, smaller, or... smaller balls, bigger balls, medium. It balls. gives you options. Yeah, it's and then... nice options. Magic Maze. That's a cool concept. Oh my god! I want like so many more levels. Lots I, more levels. I don't know. I gotta think about like I, I should have been thinking about it more. Like, is there a way to to sort of implement something like new into the gameplay um i don't know it's hard to say what could be added because it's just such a clean concept going through a maze get to the end there's a bad guy coming after you yeah um we just want more i don't know two players two players at the would same be time fun. i mean i would be a fight the it, screen would be you'd have to nightmare. cooperate it wouldn't yeah. work well um horizon shift very simple. Totally. Make. There's nothing really much to do. I mean, it's it's a, a little game 
demade from a big proper game. He just did it to, to do it. It's really hard one. One of the harder is, ones I've it done. It is really hard. And a short game. Uh, maybe if it ramped up a little slower, it might have... It's just the... And if we, you could move faster... Yes. That's, that's what it needs. Because it could still be challenging. Mm -hmm. Because you still have to go all over the place. But you need to get there faster. And then level ups would be fun too. You know? Like yeah. if you get something like... I don't like know. Like you could shoot. Them. like two different or not things. shoot them but yeah double shots or yeah or all like of a sudden you get top and bottom yeah for you could go ch -ch 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 for a little while tile. on speed booster we can go super fast you know there's just if you if clear you, the screen if you had like little yeah literally five like triggers yeah, that would hold be. down the button to clear the screen yeah instead of just shooting yeah and dungeon what can we say oh dude dungeon's great game. so good good job david um yeah that's the old that's the new one yeah, awesome job on this dungeon. Um, yeah, good. Yeah, good man, effort. knocked it out of the park in this. I just yeah. I love RPGs the, so much. The balance was really worked on. I think in this, it was like you were always just struggling a little bit, but you never died. So there was never a real big danger. No. So that's maybe an issue. Yeah. Or maybe you're just awesome. At, <laughs> At the dungeon games, <laughs> uh, I probably it's probably a combo of the two. It could have been harder for sure, but yeah. I think that I'm pretty safe with this stuff too. You know the yeah. other and you giving me the 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 like the the things like you can't kill the slime without yeah. things. Cause, yeah, because then we got patterns. Run away! Oh, from I did us. die once. Remember, I died once. Right at the beginning. Yeah, right at the. Beginning. But then we got the hang of it because we, we didn't really know out. what we we're doing. Because then we got tactics. Run away from the slime. Use this. Don't do thing. that. And, uh, you know, yeah. I think the cool thing about, like, turn-based games is it doesn't matter about graphics at all. This, no, it doesn't. It doesn't matter about gameplay at all. I think turn-based games are so cool because they're so... They're untouchable. Like, you could do yeah. anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you, could, you could program, like, a hundred levels and, like, a thousand items. Yeah. And, like, you know, the cool thing about it is it doesn't matter. You could totally go... Yeah. I, I that's why I like these style of games because there's no... It's only got, like six monsters in it yeah. but yet it's still great because they're awesome. all different monsters they're not just like oh that one's harder to hit no this it, it has different tactics yeah. these guys drop the chests which give you this and then this there's, there's just yeah. enough in it to provide that uh, rich gameplay that you want out of a game like this absolutely it keeps it interesting and and the randomness as well um of the layouts of where the princess is where the dragon is uh where the entrance and exits are it seemed like maybe it wasn't random but um it was great oh like i i don't know what you could do better maybe wider screen like three by three just so it's a little bit easier to navigate yeah but, but not, i mean part of but part of the fun was the single screen too i like yeah. that you could almost say oh it's dark you can't see beyond yeah you know a little far little further than you so stuff. you have to memorize you only have a torch and, and when i realized the um uh invisible wall thing that was very useful yeah I, that would have been helpful knowing it right away yeah because then you would have to backtrack but maybe the dragon would have been harder because probably you, because you wouldn't have done we so much grinding have, yeah right? and also the excalibur i would have saved for the demon there's some more there's yeah. some stuff on a second playthrough but we crushed anyways so destroyed yeah, I, I could i think we could do the hardest difficulty in this one i'm we, pretty confident with i think it. we could too knowing what we know now oh yeah um we would have tactics down go in yeah. and just and then i bet you we would die a couple times because there are some stuff like if you fight yeah like, if you fight like three ghouls in a row and you miss a bunch, and they start like ripping through your thing. All and your you, magic, yeah. and you don't get any like um, chests. It's you're just dead. You're gone. Yeah, it might. Yeah, pa I was saying pause them, but it uses up too much magic. That's right. And you don't get enough back. I think it uses six. That's right. Six or five, and it's then you would only it. get ten back. No, it's not worth it. So yeah, Mister Fix says I got to get dungeon. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I guess I'd like area. to see is more area. That yeah. would be cool. But although that's part of the charm, I gotta say, it's, yep, the it thing is. is, is I think James is probably right when he said, watching it's trickier because when I was navigating, I had no issue. But I was the right. one on control, so yeah. I think if you had controls, you'd just dig it a lot more. Because I can't see which direction you're moving. Yeah, so it's, it's just like a <laughs> different look, different look, different look. It's like I don't know which way you went or where you came from. It's but as long as you knew. 
it was fine. Then and I got a good sense of direction too, which helps because I played a lot of games like yeah. this. I was more on. But I got lost a couple times. Yeah, which is a bit rough. But... I was more on the manual, helping yeah. you out with tactics. We got this <laughs> sucker. So awesome! Good, uh, good fun uh, round of games today. Good variety. Yeah, man, you gotta save the RPGs for me if you ever have them. I I'll, love them I'll try. so much. Yeah, I've got the second one scheduled for Friday, but maybe uh, it's up to you, man. I should reschedule that one. I would love to play Dungeon Two would... because next one is the one last one for a little while. Oh, because unfortunately, I'm going away, and it involves two Wednesdays and a Friday. Oh, so, so it's be, killer. It'll be gone for a little bit. So the well, next one's the twenty third, so we wouldn't be able to play Dungeon until the twenty eighth. <laughs> dungeon Two, but. Oh. Eh. It's up to you. I don't know. You you love these games. I so. love them so much. Maybe I'll move that around. Oh, thanks, James. And find some other games to sub in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that. Yeah. So we'll do that in the 28th. We'll do Dungeon cool. 2. And especially since you played this one, too. Yeah, it'll help a lot. To know, to play the sequel and be able to compare. Oh, like, look, it does the look 9. Look at this shit. It does the 9. Yeah, he's, three got by some, three. he's got some new stuff. We got the fairy, potentially. Yeah, this would yeah. be awesome. Yeah new graphics yeah and i found my princess you did excellent show if thank only you Mr. life Fix. were that simple that's right mm-hmm. all the problems are solved kill the bad guy that's right get the rewards the holy grail the you know elixir of life the cup of <laughs> jesus is found in like a <laughs> tomb you just walk into it you're like oh, yeah. hey it's right there excalibur no just no issue you just pull it out <laughs> oh yeah yeah if only uh, life yeah so next episode, we're going to be playing Guyvolver, Jivolver, Ooh. I don't know, uh, and Sheep It Up, which was released at Portland Retro Gaming Expo. I did not buy a copy of it, but he just recently released the ROM, so we will be able to play it. And probably two more games since we're going to move Dungeon 2 cool. to the 28th. And then after that, I'll be away for a Wednesday, a Friday, and a Wednesday. I'll be going down to Mexico, Guadalajara, to because of, of the film, yeah. my documentary. Going to be showing that off. Uh, we're nominated for best documentary down there, so we're going to do a Q and A for the audience. Screen the film and look around Guadalajara. It'll be a lot of fun. That's gonna be so, awesome. Um, yeah. So, but I'll I'll let you know again on Friday. Warn you about that and let you know we'll be back on the twenty third. But we'll be here in two days on Friday. So we will um, see you then. Thanks for hanging out with us. All the people that are still with us, I think they're just just quiet. Mes- oh yeah, there's lots of people there. Um, but thanks, uh, Mr. Fix, Serena Foot, Zybot, sixty seven, Iceposta, BJ, BJ Best, Best for coming in and Wade talking about Rain. his game. Wade Rain, uh, Retro Happy Hour. There was a, there was someone new there was oh, Tiki Dan K and there was somebody right at the beginning of the yes. show Retro Happy Hour that hasn't, we might have already said that um, and it was somebody totally oh. new oh no let's see let's keep oh. going let's keep going it was somebody somebody we gotta say their name where where were they I don't see it okay no I must have scrolled off but anyway let's see is he in here K Price forty five yeah K Price forty five thanks for joining us. His first show with us. Um, so uh, thanks again and uh, for hanging out. And we'll see you on Friday. Yeah, and I'll see you in a 6 few PM weeks. Pacific time. And he'll see you on the 28th of November. 28th of November. Okay, bye-bye. Please hold for stopping. Okay, bye-bye.